and welcome to your Feel Good Breakfast Show Expresso here on S3. My name is Carl Wasty and I'm excited because we get to spend time together till 9 a.m. And you know what? It's a shorter week this week. So, I mean, everything is possible. But we're going to cram it in with entertainment galore. We've got massive trending conversations to chat about online. The first up, we focus on health. Now, the latest weight loss trend I'm see you're seeing it all over. It's about doing the rounds. Everyday individuals, celebs like Oprah. It's called Ozempic. So why is it such a fuss? Does it actually work? What are the complications that come with it? We are looking to explore all of that and we're joined in studio by a fantastic Dr. Manoj Bangwandin and a general practitioner with a special interest in medical aesthetics and weight management alongside entrepreneur and model Jeanette Seister, who's gonna be here just to discuss about what this is. Uh, would you try it? Would you not try it? It's just one of those things we have to talk about today. Then every Tuesday, we delve into a relationship dilemma Today's no different. Uh, our topic focuses on being friend-zoned, big one, and how to move beyond that into potentially dating without making things awkward, a sticky and de delicate uh, situation to be in, of course, but you're allowed to share your thoughts. We love to hear that. 063-408-8863. Or perhaps you have some advice as to how you got out of the friend zone and into the zone of relationship that you are now happy with and love. We'd love to hear those stories. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show. We love feeling good and looking good. And my brother Graham is here to give you a little idea as to what you can pick to kind of dress him today on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Let's take a look. Yep, we all need a little help sometimes in the morning. Good morning to you. Good morning, my brother. I hope you have started your day beautifully. You have the same kind of energetic thrust that we have this morning. It's going to be an amazing day. Albeit, I do need some help this morning, and it's getting dressed because it's that time of the day. Now, we're looking at some amazing Easter looks. Everyone wants to get a little dressed up over the Easter weekend. Well, you can help me get that lockdown right now today. And we're going to start with a nice classic option, a classic black suit. Absolutely beautiful. Dress it up with a smart shirt, a pair of brogues, some dress it up dress it down beautiful staple to have in your wardrobe love the fit of these suits as well and then we match that with some beautiful chinos and we've got ourselves a nice dark brown polo neck and some chelsea boots a slightly higher cut boot to go with that great look as well slightly more fitted a little bit more relaxed the choice is yours what do you reckon we should be rocking this morning are we going to go the route of a black suit or are we going to rock the chinos and the polo neck you can let us know on our social media platforms what way you're leading towards this morning and of course um i'll be wearing it i absolutely love the fact that we get to be this collaborative first thing in the morning and of course the show is all about the collaboration so we want to keep the conversation going so if you've got anything to chat about any stylistic advice any tips going into the easter weekend i'd love to hear from them we'll hear from you as well and of course you can hashtag it willies easter because there is a lot of easter inspiration coming your way in fact we got you for the next three hours so stick around so let's get the conversation officially started right now I feel like you're making our lives so difficult this morning. Both would look amazing on you. I don't know. I feel like Expresso family, this is where you come in 100%. So do let us know. However, good morning. And we say good morning to you from everywhere in South Africa. Most importantly, because we're coming to you live from the Samsung showroom at Design Quarter in Johannesburg. All in the name of bringing you the morning that you deserve on a Tuesday. And thank you for choosing us. You could have been anywhere else, but you said no. I want to be with my Feel Good Breakfast Show family. So yes, we're going to be on the television together, but you also know we always love to hear from you on the social media streets and on WhatsApp, all in the name of the Good Morning Post. My friend, this morning you heard about the menu that we've got in store. We're hearing about these weight loss measures, right? But this is why we want to hear from you with that beautiful voice, 063-408-8863. Have you ever felt pressured to use extreme measures for weight loss, huh? Is it something that has happened to you? Share your story with us and also let us know, you know, what it was and how did you get out of it? 063-408-8863. And remember to use the hashtag Expresso Show if you are heading out onto the social media streets. I want us to have this conversation because for me, I felt pressured when Trevor Noah was coming to South Africa. You know what I mean? Just so he could see me as his wife, which I am. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, that's my story shared. Please share yours. And let's do the things that we need to do all in the name of your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Do not go anywhere. We've got a whole lot coming up. But first and foremost, Carl is standing by with your headlines. 
Sanila, you're out of Trevor's league. I'm just letting you know. So it's one of those things. I'm just saying Trevor needs to try his luck with you. You're fantastic. Just letting you know. But let's get into your news right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Starting nationally, the global software company SAP has been ordered by the special tribunal to pay some 500 million rand to the special investigating unit, the SIU, within seven days following a settlement reached between the company and the unit. The settlement stems from an agreement from, or should I say, on the validity of two ESCOM contracts contracts awarded to SAP between 2013 and 2016. ESCOM and SAP entered into two contracts of approximately 1.1 billion rand. The SIU said an investigation into ESCOM had found that the contracts were entered into illegally. Now, the police in Limpopo have received 50 new vehicles to aid their crime-fighting ability. The vehicles have been handed over to various police stations and will be used over the Easter weekend and during the elections in May. The Limpopo MEC for Transport and Community Safety, Florence Radzelani, says the vehicles will play a major role in the police's battle against crime. She says the police will also increase their visibility in the province with the new vehicles. Now let's move on to international news. Senegal's ruling coalition candidate Amadou Ba has called the opposition's Basiro Diomaye Faye to concede victory in Sunday's presidential election. Official results showed that Faye, nicknamed Mr. Clean, had a solid lead over Ba, and Faye had been in prison 10 days before the vote and campaigned on the pledge of radical change. He turned 44 just yesterday and will be Africa's youngest president. Outgoing president Macky Sall has also congratulated Faye and said that his well, this was a win for the people of Senegal. Now, millions of Americans' online accounts have been caught up in a, quote, sinister Chinese hacking plot that targeted U.S. officials, the FBI said yesterday. Seven Chinese nationals have been charged with uh, enacting a widespread cyber attack campaign. The U.S. State Department has announced a reward of $10 million for information on the men. They allegedly sent over 10,000 malicious emails across several continents in what the Justice Department called a prolific global hacking operation backed by China's government. The UK has also accused China of being responsible for malicious cyber campaigns targeting its politicians. And yet another feather in Cape Town's cap. Of course, no bias here. The city's Bree Street has been named Africa's finest, clinching the 11th spot among the globe's trendiest avenues in Time Out's latest tally. Uh, Melbourne's High Street reigns supreme, trailed by Hong Kong's chic Hollywood Road, from gourmet grub to bar hopping escapades, from boutique marvels to artistry and galleries. Bree Street, uh, the mother city's gem, offers a smorgasbord of delights against Table Mountain's majestic backdrop. Its name, derived from the Dutch word Bria, meaning broad, uh, spe speaks to historical charm. Of course, Time Out showers Bree Street with accolades uh, singling out and praising its vibrant spirit. And why not step into the enchanting world of Africa's most delightful street and discover its irresistible charm firsthand? I'd recommend it the next time you visit Cape Town on a first Thursday. You are going to love it. That is it for news for now. Another update in one hour. But let's take a look at the sporting action. Graham is standing by. Well, first Thursday, last Thursday, let's move from culture to a smorgasbord of sport. And in a thrilling encounter in Bloom yesterday, NWU's Eagles emerged victorious over CUTs um, with a final score, 53-46. And meanwhile, uh, five-time champions Marty's they're back on track. They ended UFS Shimla's four-match unbeaten streak with a 38-29 win at Shimla Park. Then the Chester Williams Memorial Trophy remains with UCT's Ikes that was following their dominant 91-9 victory over UWC at the UWC Sports Stadium. Then additionally, in a clash between uh, Johannesburg's neighbours, UJ secured their first win of the season by defeating Witz 49-26 at the UJ Stadium. I know that would have made a lot of Fans very happy. A lot of bad blood in that one. We love that kind of fixture. Now we turn to cricket. Virat Kohli's brilliant half century propelled the Royal Challengers Bangalore to a thrilling four wicket victory over the Punjab Kings in their IPL encounter last night. So opting to bowl after winning the toss, RCB restricted Punjab to a competitive 176 for six in their 20. And Kohli's masterful innings of 77 or 49 balls, comprising 11 fours and two sixes, laid the foundation for a very successful. 
Central Chase. Uh, Dinesh Kartex unbeaten 28 of 10, making a big difference. And then Mahe Paul Rambrose, the impactful 17 of just eight, ensuring that RCB reached the target with four balls to spare. A little bit nervy, but they got there. Then we turn to an ever-evolving story in football as Nottingham Forest has now officially appealed against the four-point deduction imposed on them for breaching Premier League financial rules. So in their statement, the club confirmed the appeal against the sanction imposed by the Commission for breaching the profit and sustainability rules of the Premier League. Nottingham Forest was penalised four points on the 18th of March this year for exceeding the PSR threshold of £61 million by £34.5 million. Now we turn to golf and we've been waiting and it seems like it's here. Yeah, the long-awaited simulator Golf League, co-founded by Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, is set to launch in January of next year. That's 2025, following obviously a delay caused by a roof collapse at the Florida-based facility. So organisers of the TGL confirmed the league's debut on the 7th of January, featuring six teams of four PGA Tour players competing in what sounds like a very fast-paced team golf format, bringing it into the digital era. We love any kind of competitive sport on the show, and we are here for that. Um, let's hope the weather is going to play its part as well today. Let's get the latest on the weather front and see if there's any news or warnings you need to take in. It's a quick one, though. Only one warning for you after yesterday's serious weather warnings. The SA Weather Service has issued only one alert for today. A yellow level two warning for severe thunderstorms resulting in localized flooding. Uh, this is of susceptible roads, low-lying areas and bridges expected over the central parts of the Northern Cape and the northeastern parts of the Western Cape. The major of the country can expect, well, the majority, I should say, can expect cloudy and warm conditions. Now, do remember to send those sunrise images. We love to see them. Our number, 063-408-8863. We love to feature you today on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. But let's take a final look at your temperatures across the country. Perhaps you've been sleeping under a rock and haven't heard of Ozempic. It's got all of the celebs across the world in a buzz. There is a serious plug-in here in Cape Town. We're going to get the latest on this weight loss trend that has its origins somewhere else medically. But if you have heard the name Ozempic and want to find out more, listen up. And then uh, Kassin, uh, Kanyisa just said he is standing by to perform for us in Johannesburg. We know Zanella is so excited to connect with this young star. And we'll connect you to her in just a moment.
Welcome back to Feel Good Breakfast Show, and we're pretty excited to talk about this topic. It's been doing the rounds all over, and we've been watching our celebs go from like, hey, I know super, and just like, okay, so, but you don't want to ask about the weight. You don't want to ask about that. It's very rude. I hope that you're not asking people about their weight loss journey. Hey, hello. It's very rude unless they volunteer the information. But I think it's important to chat about this. You know, losing weight can be so expensive, all right? It takes a lot of self control to yep. do it, it takes consistency. Like, lots of consistency. Uh, but even then, people struggle to shed those extra kilos. There are a myriad of different factors, but some believe they have found the silver bullet for weight loss. And that is in drugs like Ozempic, which we're going to chat about, which is crazy. I mean, media mogul Oprah uh, Winfrey is one of the latest celebrities to reveal using weight loss drugs. But how safe are they? She's even got a big expose, you know, coming soon. And that's why we are joined by the experts. Now, we've got uh, Dr. Manoj Bangwandin is here, general practitioner with a special interest in medical aesthetics and weight management, alongside entrepreneur and model Jeanette Sester for this discussion. I have to say her name properly because uh -huh. it's just important for decorum. Um, it yeah. is completely welcome to both of you. I know it's Thank very you. early to be having a spicy conversation like uh, this one. Very. Uh, but very we like excited. it. We yeah. like it. Um, Doc Juju seems a little bit more excited about having this conversation I, than I, you I this morning. I could see that. Um, I would imagine this is a tricky question for you because there is so much going on in the world around these particular words. When I mention Ozempic, does this make you nervous? Does this make you excited? Why is there so much energy around this kind of weight loss drug at the moment? Uh, thanks. Uh, good morning and thanks for having me on the show Absolutely. and allowing me the opportunity to share my thoughts with you. So this particular topic is flavor of the month, as we all know. It yep. is something that actually excites me in a positive way. Right. But I think what you've got to understand is, given the field that I practice in, this is a major component of what I do. And my approach to this particular class of drugs, and when we're talking Ozempic, remember it's just one of a medication yeah. in, in, in a group of drugs we call the GLP-1 analogs or antagonists. And these are basically hormones that mimic certain hormones in the body that we know have got significant and dramatic effects with regards to weight loss. Mm -hmm. we it's quite see, rapid, it's yeah. very effective, um, but I have to qualify it. This has got to be used appropriately for what is intended and under medical supervision. Uh -huh. So when it excites me, I say that because it's of the way that I approach it, the way I use it, and the way I prescribe it to my patients. Unfortunately, there is a huge gray market out there, and it's increasing on a daily basis where this specific drug, it may not be the, the actual drug, but certainly the class of drugs, is, is really being distributed willy-nilly across the world yep. and inappropriately. And this is, I think, where a lot of the bad press is coming from, unfortunately. And I've heard to the point that medical practitioners can't get a hold of it because there just Absolutely. is no, no stock. No, we available. So remember, this drug was originally formulated to control diabetes. It's an absolutely dramatic and very effective anti-diabetic drug. It works very well, but we've found over the years it has a side effect of weight loss. It's now being registered in, in, in the US as a weight loss drug, and it's absolutely blown up across the world, especially after celebrities have made their dramatic weight loss uh, experiences public. In varying degrees of public. In varying, well. yes, exactly. Yeah. 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 exactly. Some of them are very open, it's some of them so are like, just, so this denial. has been hours in the gym, darling. Yes, yes. It's what? only last two months, it just happened for me. <laughs> yes, it's just <laughs> carrots and cardio. Uh -huh. uh, but the reality is that this is, there's a reason why it's a game changer. Now, before we get on to somebody who has used a Zempic, we need to talk about why it's such a game changer. Why is this a a very, very massive thing. Because I know that the diabetes market saying like, oh my word, this is medication that's now being used for something that's mm -hmm. not for us. Yes. Pe diabetics, what's going on? Mm -hmm. But why is it a game changer? Like in the body, what is what that, that yeah. interaction that is causing such a dramatic change? All right, I, th I think what we need to understand is one of the biggest challenges in the world at the moment is obesity and being overweight. Yes. And the concomitant associated diseases, morbidity and mortality that goes with it. Yeah. So in controlling diabetes, you are actually indirectly controlling being overweight, obese uh, and obese. And in controlling obesity, you also, you know, in, in retrospect, Same controlling the, right. the, the other conditions. So uh, it, it's really a game changer because this particular drug is so effective in doing what it's meant to do. And this is controlling diabetes. The, 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 another effect is its ability to suppress appetite, suppress cravings, suppress uh, you know, your, your, your cravings for, for, for certain foods. It does it very effectively, and the weight loss can be dramatic and quite rapid. So 
you know, if, if in controlling obesity, controlling being overweight, we are now effectively controlling all the other associated conditions Those with it, yeah. there is a positive spin-off, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so whilst it is predominantly an anti-diabetic drug, there is a new registration in the U.S. where it is registered as a weight reduction drug. And it's, it's absolutely a game changer in that regards if used properly and properly. part of a comprehensive weight management program. Remember, if you're using it as a weight loss uh, adjunct, it's, it's difficult to sustain this. The costs, we don't know the long-term side effects, mm. etc. What happens afterwards? So you, yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. So once you stop it, you've got to have something to sustain that weight loss. This speaks to me about being great for a baseline shift to change that baseline that we're working off, yeah. but then you've still got to manage it. Um, you've been nodding your head very enthusiastically <laughs> throughout this. <laughs> uh -huh. um, clearly, it's worked for you. What, what made you take I, that leap? What was it about this that that that? So, kind of so let me just make you understand this: that okay. my weight loss journey started actually in COVID. Yeah. Because listen, I was a plus size model. I got paid to be overweight. Do you understand? That was the that was the easy thing. That was thing the mode, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So then um, COVID happened, and the only thing that we could do is to move to go outside. You were so excited to go to the mountain. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My family is very active and all of that. So I started moving. So uh, it's been over the three, four years. I've lost 57 Ks in wow. total. But well I've done. only lost the seven, about seven Ks, like when I did Ozempic, I did one injection of Ozempic. It was easy for me to get. Um, it was, I, I traveled to Europe quite a lot for work. Okay. And it was easy for me to get it there. I started using it. I got terribly sick. We, we <laughs> spoke about it. I had no appetite. I was nauseous. Um, I wanted to sleep. I, but because w when we spoke about it, I probably didn't do it the right way. I didn't do it the, the medically way. I used one injection. I love food. Do you know that you have no appetite whatsoever? Yeah. Probably I was on the yes. wrong uh, uh, dosage, dosage. No. or something like that. It's terrible. It's terrible. Like I had a good relationship with food. I am on the Rish uh, metabolic <laughs> spray and glute support. I've been with her for six years, the eating plan. There it's is so, there's yeah. easier ways, there's healthier ways of doing it. So for yeah. me moving, and like I said, it was a rapid, like I used one injection, I, you could immediately mm -hmm. see the Ozempic face. It's called Ozempic face, Ozempic bum, hair loss. Um, I mean, mm -hmm. no, no, all of these things. I mean, I'm in the fertility... That you put this out there because even as you're speaking, I mean, the way that humans are wired, yeah. Yeah. the more negatively you talk about this, the more that little yeah. part of my brain is going, yeah, this yes, stuff works, but, but yeah, this stuff really it works. It really and works, but uh, listen, reality. it's going to work. And, 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 and the thing is, like, I'm just wondering why are we talking about what people are doing to lose weight? What, what does it got to do with us, what they do to make them feel better? Listen, like, there are people that I know of that's been struggling for years, that went on a Zempic, for the first time, game changer. a game changer, it works for them mm -hmm. because they're following and like yeah. it, it's, there's nothing like a quick fix. The, it's, it's a lifestyle change. And for yeah. me, what works for me is rewarding my body. Like, um, I love eating Dopamine. healthy. I, yeah. that, that's a better <laughs> reward for me than, yeah. uh, than that was. But like I said, if you do it the right way, a hundred percent, and it's, it's just drastic. Like, yeah, it really happens quick. But uh, for me... At what cost, at, yeah. At what exactly. cost? And like I said, I'm in the fertility agency uh, uh, field as well. Um, and we've seen some of the egg donors, we drastically, the egg count to the reproduce. So what, what, is the, yeah. what is the end price that you're paying? The body will eventually show you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You're going to... And how do you readjust? Well, how do you readjust? And, and it's individual specific. Depending uh, that's on it. How you, you can't you, go on you know, what, you what James did distance, or what... Yeah. Savannah did or what Oprah did Oprah yes. did um, yeah. but yeah do what works for you exactly. we, we were saying like health is wealth whatever makes you feel feel healthy mm -hmm. um, do that we, we need to continue this conversation unpack about Ozempic and it's uh, the ins and outs I think it's so important there are more things to discuss so Jeanette will not go anywhere nor will our good doctor so let's make sure that we are focusing on people who are inciting not only change the body but to the community as well our Thank pharmacy you. of the week and we love saluting these pharmacies they are remarkable in individuals who work there, they lead the charge in healthcare, and we need to take a look indeed. And we apologize in advance for all the new questions you're going to be getting today yeah. in particular. So <laughs> let's take the edge off that and focus on one of these champions of our community, the Alpha Mortalis Pharmacy down in Durban, proudly brought to you by Adcock Ingram OTC, officially the sponsors of Brave. Our pharmacies are on the front line of healthcare. This is Pharmacy of the Week. The community we have served over the last 30 years holds immense importance for the bonds forged 
lives touched and the trust we have established. Every interaction, every prescription filled, and every bit of advice that has been furnished to our patient contribute to the wellness and positive outcome of the patient. In this way, a profound sense of purpose and belonging is established. So pharmacist-initiated therapy empowers pharmacists um, and allows them to initiate treatment or medication without a doctor's prescription in this community especially where healthcare, access to healthcare is limited or restricted due to the financial constraints of a patient uh, the pharmacy is usually the first point of care this allows us as pharmacists to identify, initiate and monitor therapy and allows our patients to get access to prompt and appropriate care to continue to be a brave pharmacist after 30 years as a proudly independent pharmacist, especially with daughters who have become pharmacists, involves evolving a culture of excellence, compassion, and innovation. I now have to embrace mentorship to guide the next generation in focusing on patient-centered outcomes on empathy and on increasing pharmacovigilance. By working as a retail pharmacist in a predominantly underprivileged community, I am able to address healthcare barriers by improving access to medication, empowering patients to make informed decisions about their health, and uh, promoting their overall wellness. There is an overwhelming sense of fulfillment knowing that each day I have an opportunity to make a difference to a patient's life. Pharmacy of the Week. Proudly brought to you by Adcock Ingram, OTC, sponsors of Brave. Inspiring communities, one pharmacy at a time. We've been long in the game. Healing South Africa, one allergy at a time. All the sneezing, runny nose, itching of nose and throat, we've left no stone unturned. Until finally, South Africa recognized us. You've given us the courage to continue to do what we do best. Live. Work. Play, sleep allergy free with Allergex Non Drowsy. Ask your pharmacist for the full allergy range. Brought to you by Adcock Ingram OTC, sponsors of Brave. Yep, thank you to all the pharmacists in our corner making a massive difference in our communities. We appreciate you. You are vital, in fact, for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I love watching that. I really do. I'm inspired. And in fact, I'm actually more inspired by conversations with our experts on the couch. You know, Ozempic's so big. There are weight loss journeys to unpack as well. So Jeanette and the doctor is still going to be here. And if you have any questions, you know that we have a, a number you can take down. Just add it to your phone. Call it Carl and G's hotline. Uh -huh. 063 408 <laughs> Street. Just don't use it on the weekends. <laughs> no, oh, please use it on the way. weekends. That's the best time to use it. Then, of course, I've got the small matter of fitting into an outfit just Ooh. now. Is, Zemp is Ozempic the key for me? Is there enough time for it to work? Am I going to end up with the Ozempic face? I just don't know. Uh, but you can help me choose my beautiful Easter look. Two great options. I'd be happy with both. But, of course, the choice is yours. Go over to our socials and have a look at my Easter wardrobe from Woolies. And then we'll be getting dressed after this. Whatever your cough is saying, treat it with a soothing syrup like Benelin. It gets to work quickly to clear your chest. Benelin, relieve your... <coughs>
It's my feel good breakfast show. Thanks for staying right there. It is your Feel Good Breakfast Show on S3, and we are continuing our conversation, our discussion, our debate, our ins and outs. We are venturing through. This is exciting because, you know, there are a lot of weight loss drugs in the market, but there are also a lot of concerns, long-term effects. Is there enough research to try something like the latest trend, Ozempic? And this is why we have the good doctor and Jeanette still on the couch, just chatting a bit more about these things and the facets thereof. So, the good doctor. <laughs> Mm -hmm. That's what I'm going to call you for now, uh -huh. because you have been very good. Thank you, Thank Manoj. You. <laughs> now, weight loss drugs in general, mm -hmm. I just want to know if they are indeed safe. Let's talk about that for a second, because I think, you know, everybody wants a silver bullet. You want to take something, and then you want to see the waist yep, shift. Almost and immediately. That's it. Mm -hmm. It's, I feel like actually it's a symptom mm -hmm. of the instant gratification of the way we consume everything this day and age. But, be that as it may, are they safe? I think you've hit the, the, the nail on, 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 on the head there, Carl, really. Uh, if you're looking for instant gratification, a quick fix, uh, yeah. and if these drugs are used inappropriately, there are side effects, significant side effects, and uh, you know, something that could have negative effects on, on, on yourself going forward. However, let me qualify this. When we're talking about weight loss drugs, I'm going to specifically refer to this new class of weight, uh, weight loss drugs. This class of drugs has been around since 2017, so it's probably the last six to eight years there was one before that. So the actual field trials, the, exp the, the, the clinical experience yes. is very limited. It's actually very difficult to say at this stage yeah. that these drugs are 100% safe. There are now reports of, of uh, significant side effects being reported outside of what we would call the minor side effects, your nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, gastric pains, flatulence, etc. Sure. We now, we now uh, have reports of, of severe pancreatitis, um, liver conditions, uh, the, the, the so-called ozempic phase where you get severe deficiencies that are that are a result of using this drug inappropriately okay so whether there are side effects or not and whether it's safe long term or not i think only time is going to is, is going to say and remember if you are on one of these drugs you are part of this trial yeah and that's the scary part because when someone yeah. says i'm part of a trial immediately i think i am a guinea pig exactly. and that is what's worrying me i want to jump to you jeanette for a second because you have so many facets about you as a person, which is lovely. You've got so many things to attend to. Yeah. Uh, so do you think you trying something like a weight loss drug, like a Zempic, uh, was perhaps just, I'm gonna say a symptom of the fact that you're very, very busy. Not everybody has four hours to exactly. spend gym. Yes. And like, Listen, cause you wanna, you're a mom and you're an entrepreneur. I can give you 500 reasons why I should use it. But and that's why the thing. I don't have the time. So let's talk about the learning here. For you to go to that as a, I'm gonna say, it's almost like an understandable measure because of life and yeah. the socioeconomics of South Africa. Yeah. But at the same time, you have to have a learning from this journey. And what has that been? Okay, so, yeah, like I said, I've got a, a million reasons for me to use it. Yes. Um, and like I said, like, I really started uh, feeling sick um, and I couldn't, I couldn't be me. I couldn't spend time with my family, things like that. So that was a higher price for me to pay. Where, yeah. like yesterday morning, I spent 30 minutes. I went up and down the the mountain, Beautiful. and that endorphins mm -hmm. and 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 that that really works better for me. But yes, I can understand that it can, it can, this can work for other people. But it's just like, like, like doctor said, there's, there's not enough research done. There's not. I mean, I, I've read of a woman who's been throwing up like nonstop. She hasn't stopped throwing up since even leaving the injection. So imagine having a busy life and, and using that as a, okay, that's gonna help me now because mm -hmm. I only have 30 minutes, but you spend your whole day being in bed. You literally can't take yourself out of it. So what, yeah. what, is, what is the price that you, you, yes. you're really paying by, um, yes, some people don't have the time to move, but I mean, like if you can't do, have a dance party in the morning. Uh, in your house, put on the music, like, like Use just the stairs move. at work. Use the stairs at work. <laughs> yes. uh, that 10 minutes that you're spending um, scrolling through Instagram or, or TikTok, do little sit-ups. Um, walk yeah, around you, your desk. Walk around <laughs> your desk. There's so many, I mean, and we, for those who live in Cape Town, we have access to the mountain, to the ocean. Yeah. You can go to the promenade. So, um, yeah, I do understand that there's people that's so busy uh -huh. um, that they need uh, maybe a little bit help from Ozempic. But, like, yeah, health is wealth at the end of the day. Um, and healthy is the new skinny, I say. I love this. 
And also, let's talk about that for a second. And there's a lovely quote that I heard. I'm going to probably mess up it, the whole thing. But it actually says that if you're saying, I don't have time for something, what you are actually saying is that I'm not prioritizing that something. Exactly. exactly. And I think that's where exactly. we need to look in. But let's take a deeper look, Doc. We've heard about all of these side effects mm -hmm. and symptoms. And, you know, in your experience, looking at the interactions of this chemical uh, introduction to the body and versus what it's doing, long-term effects can't be noted now. We don't have enough research. Well, but all we can do is anticipate. Yes. And <clears throat> I'm going to ask as a professional, what types of things are we going to be anticipating as long-term effects of these weight loss drugs? All right, I think, I think one of the, the most significant long-term effects that, that is already evident is when used inappropriately yeah. and not with a balanced diet, this drug actually leads to starvation in one form or the other. You literally starve yourself to lose the weight. So if you don't have a concomitant balanced diet to supplement your vitamins, your, your proteins, your trace elements, uh, you know, or, or your, your, your healthy fatty yeah. acids, you are going to suffer. This is where you're getting the ozempic faces, the hair loss, the, 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 the wasting of muscles. Yes. You're getting arthritis setting in. So there's definitely that aspect. This is why I stressed initially, it's got to be medically monitored and regulated. Yeah. Number two, there are now reports coming through of, of other serious conditions which affects other systems of the body which, un, which we're not anticipated. So this, like I said, time will, will reveal. And it's absolutely essential for a doctor to, to monitor this entire process because then the side effect or, or complication is timelessly picked up, addressed and reported to the manufacturers of, this, of these products. And there's quite a few so that it can be better Yes. researched and formulated going forward, which then makes this drug safer with time. It's, it's wonderful. Thank you so much for, for sharing the honesty. Jeanette, yeah. I heard there's a lot of honesty from you. You've, <laughs> you've been down this road and I'm thanking you for that. Uh, you didn't sugarcoat today and I think no. people need to understand That's that it. you've been through this and I think mm -hmm. that you've, you've educated so many. Doctors, same with you. And I appreciate us having this conversation. Also, our conversation is by no means an indictment in the event that you are using a weight loss drug. I think all it is, it's about safety. And if yeah. you are looking at yes. a medical professional that is monitoring your taking of this drug and you're not getting it from a friend yep. who has a connection that could be very, very unsafe to you so this conversation is more about yeah. safety when you are trying these things i know you have a busy life but as jeanette said uh, healthy is definitely the new skinny so maybe consider that and add some time mm -hmm. to add wellness into your life over anything else okay. thanks a lot to our guests and remember talking about wellness and looking good feeling good this is what g is looking like in fact, it's all on you guys this morning. We all need a little help from time to time, and I needed your help choosing between two Easter outfits today. Option one, a black suit with a cream button-up shirt. We love the look of that. Option two, stone chinos, nice brown polo neck styled with some Chelsea boots, some high brown ankle boots. Would have loved both of them, but let's find out how you guys are feeling this morning about what I should be wearing this Easter. Let's take a look at our feed. This is coming off our Facebook uh, timeline. Anna Marie saying option number one thank you Anna Marie Pretorius very good morning to you I think I'll be happy with that Mark saying definitely one sophisticated and stylish hashtag espresso so uh, Mike Mike good morning Graham I think option one will look smart on you thank you uh, Mike Mike uh, good morning to you as well um, I'm liking the tend trend that we're heading towards good morning espresso fam this is coming from Welile I think option one will look smart on you I like the sound of that I think we have a reigning champion so I'm gonna ask Lush to Please reveal the winning outfit, or at least give me a hand doing that. Yeah, we had an idea which way you're going. What do you think? It gets the real pros stamp of approval. Absolutely love it. I would have been happy at both. Dressed up, dressed down, a great black suit like this. The perfect staple to have. You can dress it up with something really smart, dress it down with some white sneakers. Absolutely love having this as the cornerstone of your wardrobe. And of course, beautiful light fabric as well, which I think wears incredibly well. Great fit. And we've uh, rounded it off with um, some uh, nice brown leather shoes or black leather shoes. Absolutely love it. Bit of a, um, a brogue feel to them as well, which I think completes it. Look, I'm here for that. You guys have impeccable taste. Thank you so much. And of course, don't miss out. You can feel comfortably stylish this Easter weekend. You can dress it up or you can dress it down by heading over to Woolies. And there are some fantastic, in fact, exceptional looks um, ready for your Easter celebration at Woolies. You can shop them in-store, online, or using their amazing app. Go and get dressed yourself.
we can give you some advice if you need it. I don't know if I'm ready for you in that black number. I mean, you look good at everything, but I feel like, oh, it's just gonna make you look tip top this morning. And my friends, speaking of tip top, we always make sure that you are smiling on your feel good breakfast show. And we always have, as you heard earlier on, a balanced diet, making sure that your breakfast is delicious, in fact. So yes, we have the important conversations, but then we always call on a couple of friends to bring in the fun, which is why this morning we've called on one friend, which is Kanye Sachateni, who is the artist of the morning. She's not only gonna be performing for us, but we're gonna be getting to know her a little bit better and then later on we're going to be hearing about how to brave the cold that is coming because winter is coming my friend i feel games of thronesy however i feel like our parents as well when i say it is going to be a cold one so we need some of these tips that are coming our way but we're going to be doing it together as an expresso family do not go anywhere we're going to take a short break and on the other side of this more of what you need to get your morning started oh, you can make my day. It's my feel-good breakfast show. My love, I can confidently tell you that you have made the best decision by being tuned into your Feel Good Breakfast show this morning. You're on Express, and if you're just joining us, you are just in time. I tell you this because we are starting off the beautiful chat that we are going to be having with our artist of the morning. She's a multi-award-winning social media queen who is multi-talented because she is also someone who is absolutely taking over the music industry. I am talking about Kanye Sachateni, who has made us fall in love with her on social media. However, she's also gone on to do so many other things along with making us fall in love with the phrase bottom line everybody please welcome kanisa to the johannesburg studio shout out to the cape town studio i went the first oh why did you do that no because hey guys cape town <laughs> wink wink <laughs> No, it's no. It's fine. The, the family was here first, but we are all family. Yes. Just like we are family with you, which is why we love having you here. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much. Are you good? Oh, I'm amazing. Yes, yes. I'm great. Thank amazing. you. And Flames, I can imagine you're amazing because you are taking over the world. What started from social media is now in music, is continuing to do so many things. Yeah. But let's speak about the music journey. How has that been for you? Ah. Oh. You know what, um, my musical journey hasn't been easy. Mm -hmm. And funny enough, um, I started as a musician, I remember then became um, a TikTok influencer, yes. of which I kind of mentioned, but how guys, uh, 
I also kind of sing too. I like it. And then somewhere, somehow, the two <laughs> married and became a big thing. All you know? together. So everything just worked out perfectly. Yes. And I feel like um, how social media is such a big part of this generation, how we're living today. Mm. Um, it just worked out. It just worked out. Yeah. And I'm grateful to God. Yeah. And my babes, it more than worked out. I mean, an entire Alicia Keys posted you. What? Get out of here. What was that? Like, what uh, was that? That was you. <laughs> but what I love about your story as well, babe, it just speaks to how much doors can open for you when we talk about social media. Yes. Did you ever imagine that it would happen like this? When you were busy posting the hashtag bot online, yes. did you think this would happen? Honestly, pub, no time to Liking um, I, I started my journey the Pedalongum Sebens. Really? Um, hit the hectic COVID. They were like, I okay. No more work. No more job for Oh, me. no. And then I was like, I looked at my phone. I remember looking at my phone and I was like, you are going to make me money. Get on that choice. <laughs> you know? Yes. Then I started get, uh, being my authentic self and mm. started like interacting with social media. And I get one thing led to another. Funny enough, TikTok was the last app that I downloaded. Really? And I started uh, posting on TikTok, but it was the one that actually took off. I yeah. love it. Yeah. I TikTok was like, you're going to see TikTok me, my said I'm going to TikTok you. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but Kanisa, I also know that with an opening doors, it means that you've worked with the likes of Kamsa De Small, oh. DJ Mapori, yes. and so many big names. I mean, big names like you, you know what I mean? You know of what course, I mean? yeah. yeah. Giants. Exactly. Giants. Giants like you, exactly. Yes. <laughs> but how do you get approached for things like this? You know, do they call you up? Do they text you? Do they DM you? What happens? Um, you know, more than anything, it's just a, a authentic. Sometimes you vibe at a place and you're like, okay, we should actually do this. Oh. Sometimes it's, it's a DM, you know, yes. and, but, you know, each and every artist that I encounter and I work with, mm -hmm. I learn so much. Because, uh, so Funda, until the day we want. So, um, learning from um, giants, yes. industry giants, is always such a beautiful opportunity. And I take every opportunity. When they say, hey, I say, I jump how high. <laughs> I love you know, it. So, I'm always ready to take those chances because I know I'm going to get a lot from it. And that's the thing. Fortune, it savors the brave. And you're forever brave when to always take on those In opportunities. In life, you must take risks. <laughs> Hashtag <laughs> bottom line. But then, of course, talking about risks, sometimes it is a risk to collaborate with people who oh. are outside of the country, yes. right? Yes, yes, And yes, so yes. you have collaborated with Grammy Award winning DJ Nell. Ooh. Sorry about Ooh. it. Ooh. Or rather producer Nell. Um, yeah. Producer Tells. Uh, so Tells, I think, worked Tells with... Uh, yes. Sorry, yes. Um, he worked with Burner Boy, mm -hmm. and I met him at a camp. Um, it was organized by our publisher, I think, yes. Um, ACP, shout out to them. Come on. Um, then we put up to the camp, and I was like, oh, tell us, oh, oh, oh. There were, there were the likes of uh, Tenny, uh, we were sure. there with Dappy. Um, it was a whole music camp, it was a whole week yes. in Nigeria. Um, in, in the heat, oh, go man, the power man. Oh, no, oh, God, oh, man. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh my God. So I was like, it was such a beautiful space to be in, and mm. our creative juices flowed. And yeah, we have a few songs. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Is it nice to be a superstar? You know, Grammy Award winners just want to work with you, hi? It's, it's a it's feeling. I love it's a it. feeling. <laughs> I love it for you, and I feel like you deserve it, my babe. Thank you so much. I but really appreciate it. Let's talk about this now. Are we going to be getting uh, something of a project soon, maybe? Listen, mm. I am planning to collaborate with so many upcoming artists. Um, there's yo, so many so in many. my mind right now. Yes. But I really want to collaborate, you know, with, with the underdogs, oh, you know. Yeah, and I'm just opening doors for people that I know from back home. Mm. Um, and it's like... Being, being this... You know when you're going to climb up? Yes. Being this guy, yeah, you know, and oh, I'm like, help and, do and so. as much as I'm not up there yet, mm -hmm. but I mean, you know, a little something, something won't hurt. Not up there know. yet, just a couple of million people. Yeah, you know, listen to my music. Stop, it's fine. stop. Can you say you're not going anywhere because you <laughs> owe us a couple of performances of which you can't wait for? Yes. But you, Expresso family, need to make sure that you stick around because this queen is about to make sure that we take Tuesday morning to the top the best way we know how. In a little bit, we're going to be getting to that. But in Cape Teasy, it looks like the family's having a little bit of fun. Colin Graham, what's happening that side?
We'd be eating chocolates. That's what's <laughs> happening this side. We'd be eating mallows and chocolates every day yeah. because we love it, man. Well, I mean, you can't. Building up to Easter is a very special time, and we take full license here on this show. It's nearly time to let that hunt begin with beacon mm, mallows this Easter because they're the OG. And with that, our uh, guess the new flavor competition is in its final stretch. It's tough. So let's have a look at some of the social media guesses that have been coming through, and there have been some interesting ones let's take a little gander if we can oh okay that... andy pearly saying it mm. has to be pumpkin spice muffins you see, you see i'm not again. crazy yeah. i'm not crazy that's what i thought i was like pumpkins and a bit spicy a bit um like um halloweeny yes that's the vibe there um oh cook sisters and hot cross buns Ooh. coming from Maimuna. nice i love that I'm hungry now, actually, yeah. just based on that alone. Then another one comes through, all spice flavor. Yes, wow. definitely something heady, hey? Nutmeggy, yes, spicy, cinnamony. Okay. I know one spice, I all spice. All so right. Peter's saying all spice flavor. Yep, I don't know. Have you come any closer? I'm still going to what I said in the beginning. I said it's a hot cross bun flavor. Hot cross bun. That I makes think there so was a hot. Sense. It makes just so for me it would be a hot cross bun. You know why? Why? Because it's Easter. It makes sense. <laughs> it oh my just, word! Hey? Well, I mean, I couldn't go for pickled fish something. flavor. That would be different. <laughs> you, I guarantee you, someone is going to try and mix the two. It will happen. It will happen in Cape Town, and it'll spread from there. Um, so here's the good news. Okay, not only do you get to, of course, sink your teeth into bucket loads of mm, mellows, pulling up to Easter, you also have the chance to win one of four sorbet vouchers valued at a thousand rand each. You've got a reply to the competition post on the Expresso, Facebook, Instagram, or X pages, any of our platforms. Submit your guess to what you think this brand new flavor could be. And I'm gonna give you a clue, okay? Mm. Just look at whatever Carl is thinking right now is your clue. Uh, which seasonal treat is often enjoyed, toasted or buttered? During Easter celebrations. Oh, no, we didn't. Don't forget to hashtag let the hunt begin. I think you heard that did, clue, did, my friend. Did. I think you heard that clue. The competition closes 27th of March, but you can find the T's and C's on expressoshow.com. You can't enter, Carl. Unfortunately, you can't Why not? enter. But you can still be a winner because you get to eat the new flavor variant. But Why I think not? you've got it. I think Do you think I'm it. there? I think I am there on this morning. Thank you. I'm sorry, the pumpkin spice... Muffins, probably not the right answer. I think, someone Do you think is, I'm getting... someone's angry, okay? And he's got great rolls. Okay, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Mm -hmm. Good luck. Mellows. Also, mm -hmm. coming up in your... Oh, this is great. Sorry. Oh, really, 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 really good. Show. We have so much more entertainment for you lined up. It's going to be great. It really mm -hmm. is. Can oh. you say standing by for an amazing performance? Oh, yeah. And then we're going to continue to have a little fun. And looking at the amount of Easter eggs and chocolate around, we are going to continue on this particular trend. Also, you know the winter season's coming up, so we mm -hmm. have to deal with colds too. We have oh. the experts for that. It's going to be lovely. So we're going to be eating these amazing mallows and giving you some advice to stay healthy. How is that? <laughs> balance. <laughs> what about balance?
It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back. Today could be the biggest day of your life. Well, certainly from a monetary perspective. Why? Because your winnings are big. When we hone in on the Powerball jackpot today, just sit down maybe, okay? 105 million rand. That is massive. That could be life-changing for you and your entire community, but you've got to put yourself in the running. So how do you get your ticket and Panda push a play? Well, it's really simple. You've got to hop online. You can go to nationallottery.co.za. That's their website. You can go onto their mobile app, which is brilliant. You can go onto your own cell phone banking. Um, you can simply dial star 120 star 7529 hash for the USSD. The most important point, regardless of how you get there, is that you get there. Go and get your ticket. We'll keep all of those details up on our social media platform so that you have no excuses not to get your hands on that ticket that could potentially win you 105 million rand. That's the estimated Powerball jackpot today. Put yourself in the running. Just put your hand up. Give yourself a chance. That is going to be life-changing. Good luck. Let's take a look at your news and starting nationally, the former legal head of Steinhoff, Stefanus Grobler, has been granted 150,000 Rand bail by the Pretoria Specialized Commercial Crimes Court. He handed himself over to the police the day after Steinhoff's former CEO, Marcus Juster, committed suicide at Amanis in the Western Cape. Grobler faces charges of fraud, racketeering and contravening the Financial Markets Act in relation to the Steinhoff saga that occurred between 2014 and 2017. Meanwhile, the Financial Sector Conduct Authority has said that Joester's death would not have an impact on its investigation into Steinhoff. Now, the global software company SAP has been ordered by the Special Tribunal to pay some 500 million rand to the Special Investigating Unit, the SIU, within seven days following a settlement reached between the company and the unit. The settlement stems from an agreement on the validity of two ESCOM contracts awarded to SAP between 2013 and 2016. ESCOM and SAP entered into two contracts of approximately 1.1 billion rand. The SIU said an investigation into ESCOM had found that the contracts were entered into illegally. Now on to international news. The UN Security Council has called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza after the US did not veto the measure as it did previously. It also demanded the immediate release of all hostages. It's the first time the Security Council has called for a ceasefire since the war began in October. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the U.S. had been abandoned. It's, uh, well, abandoned its previous position, which had linked a ceasefire to a hostage release. Israel's Minister of Defense said Israel would not halt the war in Gaza while hostages were still being held. Now, Senegal's ruling coalition candidate Amadou Ba has called the opposition's Basiru Diomaye Faye to concede con victory in Sunday's presidential election. Official results show that Faye, nicknamed Mr. Clean, had a solid lead over Ba. Faye had been in prison 10 days before the vote and campaigned on the pledge of radical change. He turned 44 just yesterday and will be Africa's youngest president. Outgoing President Macky Saul has also congratulated Faye and said that his, well, this was a win for the people of Senegal. And the Buy Local Summit and Expo at Santa Convention Center in Johannesburg radiates the essence of local is lekker. With a dazzling display of proudly SA products, Minister Ibrahim Patel in a spirited keynote address yesterday championed unity among government, locals and businesses to uplift homegrown goods, emphasizing their role in job creation and economic growth. With some 2,000 delegates gracing the event, from buyers to exhibitors, the summit serves as a vibrant stage showcasing the prowess of SA craftsmanship. Uh, so the next time you shop, check the label and join the celebration of all things proudly made in South Africa. That's it for your news for now. Another update in one hour, but let's take another look at your sport. Here's G. Thank you so much, Carl. Let's start with some local rugby and points are plenty in a thrilling encounter in Bloemfontein. NW's Eagles emerged victorious over CUT with a final score of 53-46. What a match. Meanwhile, five-time champions Martys, they ended UFS Shimla's four-match unbeaten streak with a solid 38-29 win at Shimla Park. Then the Chester Williams Memorial Trophy remains with UCT's Ikes. That was following their dominant 91-9 victory over UWC on their own home. 
home turf. And additionally, in a clash between the Johannesburg neighbours, love this derby action. UJ secured their first win of the season by defeating Vitz 49-26 at the UJ Stadium. Now we turn to cricket a little further afield and Virat Kohli's brilliant half-century propelled the Royal Challengers of Bangalore to a thrilling four-wicket victory over the Punjab Kings in their IPL encounter last night. So opting to bowl after winning the toss, RCB restricted Punjab to a competitive 176 for six in their 20. Then Kohli's masterful innings of 77 of just 49 deliveries, uh, including 11 fours and two sixes, laid the foundation for that successful chase. Dinesh Kartik's unbeaten 28 of 10 balls and then uh, Mahipol Lamroor's impactful 17 of just eight balls delivering RCP to that finish line. Brilliant performance there. Now we turn uh, or return to an evolving story in football as Nottingham Forest have now officially appealed against the four-point deduction imposed on them for breaching Premier League financial rules. So in a statement released, the club confirmed the appeal against the sanction imposed by the Commission for breaking the profit and sustainability rules of the Premier League. Nottingham Forest was penalised four points on the 18th of March for exceeding the PSR threshold of £61 million by £34.5 million. So quite a discrepancy there. So we'll certainly watch that space. Now we turn to golf in a space that is being watched for a little bit longer. The long-awaited Simulator Golf League, co-founded by Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, is set to launch next year, only in January 2025, following a delay caused by a roof collapse at the Florida-based facility. So organizers of the TGL, as it's known, is have now confirmed the league's debut on the 7th of January next year, featuring six teams of four exciting PGA Tour players competing in a fast-paced team golf format. Um, we love it. It sounds like a modern version of golf and we love any kind of competitive sport here on the show. So we'll certainly watch that space as well. But that's where we leave our sport for now. Uh, let's watch the roads outside, get you to work safely before we touch on the weather. Thanks a lot, G. Let's start with traffic to get you to work indeed. Edenvale, I'm going to start there in Joburg. There's a stationary vehicle in the travel lane on the N3 northbound after Galuli's interchange. The left lane is affected. Drive carefully and maintain a safe following distance as well. Please be safe. Then Germiston in Joburg as well. There has been a multi-vehicle accident on the N3 northbound after Linksfield interchange. The right lane is closed. Delays are expected. Allow for a bit more travel time. As mentioned, please be safe as we take a look at your weather. Let's start with weather news. The water saving organization Watercan says damage to infrastructure, leaks and climate change are some of the biggest factors exacerbating the water crisis in the country. Many municipalities in Gauteng and Northwest are experiencing water interruptions due to problems with infrastructure. The organization's executive manager, Feral Adam, says additional factors that must be taken into account are the amount of water the country has at its disposal and the percentage of it that is polluted. Adam says that if the climate change uh, leads to droughts or floods, this will have an additional negative impact on the country's water availability. Now let's wake you up with a sunrise view. Always love these. And this one comes from one of our friends, Louise Cherry from Alberton. And look at that. That seems like a photo one would take a screenshot of in a dream. It's gorgeous. Thank you. 063-408-8863. If your sunrise looks like that, I'd like to see it. Even if it's better, you can be in the country, out of the country. Just send it to that WhatsApp line. We'd love to feature you on your Feel Good Breakfast show as we take a look at temperatures across SA.
Oh, welcome back. Hopefully it's going to be a beautiful day regardless of the weather. Let's see if we can help improve your mood just a little bit. Are you ready to face the upcoming cough season head on? I don't say this to disparage you. I say this to ignite and empower you. You're joining us this morning armed with the right information and advice to tackle those cold and flu symptoms this winter season. We welcome back Kenview Senior Brand Manager, somebody who is very emotionally invested in this journey on our behalf. For cough and cold, that's his playground, Roger Freeman. Roger, thank you so much for joining us. Morning, morning. Um, it, do you get happy or sad when we move into flu season? Because this is a happy hunting ground for you, but you know how much your work matters now. Probably a bit of mixed emotions. <laughs> um. <laughs> um, so we've we've looked at some of the, the drivers here, some of the, the reasons why we are, are so prone as a species, I suppose, to colds and flu. But there is this knock-on effect. When we talk about the man flu, we can joke about it, but yeah, when it hits, it hits hard. What are some of the impacts? What have you seen in your space? Because clearly you are very motivated to help people. Why do we need so much help? What is the knock-on effect of cold and flu season, man? Well, um, when you have a cold, uh, your symptoms usually start with uh, sore throat and uh, runny nose. Just a scratch. Um, oh, yeah, oh, then, it, then it progresses. Oh. It moves to a cough and some sneezing. The symptoms usually last from ten, seven to ten days. Um, the common cold symptoms are actually seen as the main reason why children are absent from school sure. and from adults um, missing out on work. Um, on average, adults miss two to three days uh, per year um, when they suffer from um, cold uh, symptoms. And uh, cold sufferers, um, actually 44.5% of them um, would be missing cold um, um, work um, or school. So that does have an impact. Yeah. And it yeah. breaks your momentum. There is a psychosomatic thing for me here. When we start approaching winter, it's like my body's like, oh, here it comes. And you almost just brace for it. But there is a reason why. Because it hits harder in winter. Why is the cold weather? Is it the cold weather that is bringing this on? Why do we have colds and flu associated with winter? I'm asking a silly question. No, no, not silly <laughs> at all. I mean, research, researchers have actually found that you do get more colds in, in winter, even though the, the virus is um, prevalent throughout the year. And a study published uh, in 2022 in the Journal of Allergy and Clinical Immunology found that a slight decrease in temperature within the nose of just five, uh, five degrees uh, can kill up to 50% of the billions of bacteria fighting um, cells and viruses in the nostril. Wow. So simply put, colder weather um, reduces your body's immune system and negatively impacts the, the body's immune system, so making you more prone to actually getting cold. And I think you guys get this. There is no silver bullet. You've got to help the body do what it does. And that's why So when our immune system is compromised, that's when we get more yeah. sick. Um, and I, it really does stand to reason. I still think the psychosomatic thing plays a part. <laughs> as soon as you start seeing the ads, you're like, okay, it's time to start fortifying. But the joy here is that we do have tools, weapons, so to speak, to fortify ourselves with. So what's your go-to? As someone who spent a lot of time in this space, what do you recommend? How do we fortify ourselves? Okay, ju just to talk to about like how it actually spreads so we know that germs spread through from infected people it can spread through air or close contact mm -hmm. um, we know that the viruses spread through the respiratory secretions of these infected people so normally that would happen with close contact so like a handshake but can also happen when you touch objects uh, with the virus is present and then you touch your eyes your mouth your nose we've heard this and conversation before buddy we've heard this yes, conversation yes, before yes, yes. and of course in winter we indoors so exactly. much Exactly. Oh, so yes. Clothes. So what, what you should be doing is uh, washing your hand frequently with soap and water. Uh, you should avoid touching your eyes, your mouth, your nose, and then you should stay away from sick people if possible. <laughs> and, uh, and, and like if you are actually impacted by a cold or flu, um, what you can um, do is make sure that number one, you don't go to work or you don't send your don't children to. It to uh, crash or to school. Um, you wash your hands frequently, especially if you're blowing your nose, you're sneezing or you're coughing. Um, you stay away from people, um, especially infect infected people, but close contact especially. So kissing, hugging, um, shaking hands is a no-go. Um, and then you disinfect frequently touch surfaces and objects. When we say help is at hand, you guys have made this your, your kind of deep dive space. When we look at the range of products that you have, I think Benelin obviously jumps out because there is a little bit of something and a balance. We talk about that well-balanced for everybody and 
for every kind of sorry state that we might find ourselves in. So what are your recommendations there? Look, I, I, I want to talk to some of the research that we've done. Mm. So um, we, we've looked at um, the behavior of people when they do get impacted by cold symptoms. And in, on, in all honesty, our, our, our viewers are actually quite proactive. So they, they do a lot. Uh, we We're found empowered. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. We found 68% of them actually treat at that first symptom. And even 11% of them are proactive and stock up their medical kit um, in anticipation of the Before season winter, ahead. Yeah. Um, from a behavioral perspective, 52% of them only see the doctor when symptoms become severe. And the reason for treating is um, there's an overall drop in productivity. So 47% of people say that the overall uh, drop in productivity is the reason why they're treating. And then 46% say that this cold symptoms impacts their sleep so they can't get a good night rest. And obviously that means and they can't recover as, quick, as quickly yeah, as they Yeah, and then you're weaker and then your immune system takes a knock yes. and that cycle absolutely continues. Thank you so much for, for spending the amount of time. Just very quickly here, what do you recommend to just feel better? Because often that's where it starts. Yeah, yeah. Look, there's no cure for cold or flu. Uh, doctors recommend that you rest. Uh, you hydrate, um, you can take cold and flu medication. Uh, from a perspective, we know that a cough is the main symptom of, of a cold. Uh, so we've got a range of cough and cold products that are available over the counter at most pharmacies. So you want to speak to your pharmacist about the oh, right sure. solution for you. Then we've got our wet cough range, which contains guaifenesin and is indicated for wet cough. It's available in wet cough, wet cough menthol, and a children's wet cough product. And then also in a 50 ml, 100 ml, and 200 ml pack. So there's, there's formats and options available for consumers right. and the wet cough range can be found uh, widely at pharmacies and at supermarkets. And I think our pharmacists love going back and selecting the right. Is it a little bit dry, a little bit wet, bit of both? Okay, we'll sort you out with this. Uh, but thank you so much. You guys go very far to just helping us make it through winter and feel a little bit better, which is massive in our world. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. You can see when I talk about an emotional investment in this space, this team are there for us and they have given us the weapons, the tools to fight back. So treat those colds, those coughs and flu at first sign. Don't give them time to break down your productivity. And Benlin has an extensive range of products available with no prescription needed, offering quick relief for your cough. Go and chat to your pharmacist. Do it now. Don't waste any time. Whatever your cough is saying, treat it with a soothing syrup like Benlin. It gets to work quickly to clear your chest. Benlin, relieve your... <coughs> We go from coughs to coffee. You should grab some because we are still going when it comes to health advice. How your gut health can affect your mental health is something that we're going to touch on very, very soon. And then, of course, Chef Clem is going to give us some details as to how Avo season has begun. It's going to be fantastic. Make sure you stay there, grab the coffee, and join us in the next couple of minutes on your Feel Good Breakfast Show.
Uh, welcome to today's vitally important discussion and quite an interesting one where we are looking into an intriguing connection, the link between gut health and mental well-being with phytoceutics. And joining us in uh, the studio today is one of our favourites, the esteemed Dr. Michael Moll, as we explore the fascinating interplay between the gut and the brain. How does that play out? So, Graham, if you've ever kind of gone with your gut when you've made a decision or when you have butterflies in your stomach when you're nervous, you're likely getting signals from another brain, all right? Not this brain, this brain, your second brain, your gut brain, hidden in your digestive system. It really is a thing, and it's revolutionizing the way we think about healthcare in terms of the connection between our kind of main brain and our gut brain, in terms of how we feel, our health, our mood, all that kind of stuff. Scientists call it your, your ENS, your enteric nervous system. Like 100 million little cells, thin lining is basically what it's made up of. And it, it works together with like a trillion microorganisms in your gut. So this kind of bacterial life, if you like, that really influences neurochemicals in your brain. So the production of things like serotonin, feel-good hormone, the uh, dopamine, which you have plenty of, the like, yeah, focus and for sure. motivation hormone. Especially after you've eaten a nice meal, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, and basically what you have is if you have a healthy gut, because of this gut-brain connection, you feel positive. You're, 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 have a, you're emotionally stable. If you have an unhealthy gut, then you lead to that leads to things like depression and anxiety. So that's the connection between the two. And it's real, man. It exists. And it's very powerful. Because often approaching a complex mental issue is too confusing, too daunting. We can treat our gut. When we speak about probiotics, what are we giving to these trillions of little soldiers that are helping us out there? Probiotics, which are essentially good bacteria that you find in supplements and food, really promote that communication. They do it because they uh, maintain regular kind of gut balance, they reduce inflammation, they manage to sort of buffer your stress response. So they have this calming effect on the body, which is amazing because this is stuff that you consume. And ultimately they also protect this kind of gut blood barrier so they prevent harmful substances being absorbed by your blood through your gut. I love the fact that we've got so much more information now and, and that's why I applaud doctors like you or anyone in the medical space sharing information and I think that's been the real plus here because there was so much misinformation out there and misconceptions. When it comes to that the gut brain connection what are some of the, the heavy hitters the myths that you'd like to knock out the park? Yeah myth busting I love that. I think well the first one is actually what we're talking about now is this whole idea of of the gut-brain axis being like a fad. It's like fringe medicine. It's oh, like, for yeah, sure, yeah. It's, it's not. There's lots of science behind it. It's been researched for many, many years. There's ongoing research as we it's discover. It's part of our evolution, yeah. yeah well, we discover more and more of this amazing kind of connection between the brain and the gut, so that's one. I think the other one is that this is really just for people that have digestive issues. And the answer is no. Man, if you treat your gut properly, if you make sure that you've got that proper good probiotics in your system, you're going to have good mental health. And mental health is something you want to be proactive about. The thing we've got to be careful of in what we're discussing now is you also can't say that probiotics cure all mental health conditions. Because yeah. they don't. Mental health is a very complex issue. And to say, if I pop this pill or have this yogurt, you know, I'm going to really... Going to balance out, yeah. yeah. And in the same way, diet. So diet definitely has an impact on our mental health and our mood and how we think and feel, but it's not going to have an effect immediately. It takes time. You know, so I think those are some of the misconceptions. If I just eat well today, I'm going to feel better. Mm, yes, but no. There's a sort of a slow growth curve. And we've heard that you've got to give it time to kick in. I love the fact that the two strains we were trying to wrap our heads around earlier, they, they are supported by Seragut in phytoceutics products that are available to us. So we can be more intentional about what we put in and in terms of the kinds of foods, the kinds of supplements that do help us. What advice do you have for someone looking to really enhance this gut-brain connection, this axis? Um, I'm glad you asked that because it's, it's, it's something good to think about and there are lots of things you can do. So firstly, uh, what you consume. So eat a lot of fermented foods, uh, kombucha, if you can get that, if you can stomach that, but yogurt, uh, kefir, um, sauerkraut. When you come to your diet, a diverse diet. So lots of vegetables, lots of whole grains, because those in and of themselves are something called prebiotics, which basically feed probiotics. Sleep is obviously vitally important. I think exercise dampens the stress response. It promotes good uh, you know, gut bacteria, so you know, I know that exercise, exercise, Movement exercise. Managing your stress, and here's something I want you to try, because stress is also really good just for reducing inflammation and, and promoting positive gut bacteria, but there's something called the physiological side. One of the most scientifically backed ways of regulating stress 
immediately. And it goes like this. It's a deep inhalation through your nose. And then at that maximal point, you go one more. And then... So in one process... Physiological side, you're managing stress, and that's a great way to actually I uh, love contribute that. to I good mental health. That's the reason why we good sigh, man. Oh, you've adjusted exactly. my mental good health just be, being in your presence, <laughs> man. I absolutely love it. Thank you so much. We want you to really unlock the potential of your gut health and mental well-being as well with Phytoceutics' incredible range of pre, which we know are important. They are for the pro and the post uh, biotics, all absolutely essential and designed to optimize your overall wellness, be it brain or gut. And he has a nice little added bonus. When you add items to your cart, delight in an exclusive 15% discount using the code EXPRESSO at phytoceutics.com. And you can also enter for a chance to win a three-month gut health hamper from this incredible brand, including Better Gut and Sarah Gut, and that's valued at over 2,000 Rand. And feeling the weight of stress and anxiety, we know how much of a weight that can be. What's your go-to tip for maintaining mental well-being? We've listed a couple of great options. Share your answer on our Expresso Facebook, X or Instagram page, and use that hashtag Phytosutics in your entry. You can find all the T's and C's that apply on ExpressoShow.com. This one's going to run up until Monday, the 1st of April at midnight. Doc, uh, a lot of Food for thought you have given very nice, me today. Very nice. That's uh, a dad joke, man, right yeah, there. The one uh, and only a lot of dad joke for the day. I, I've earned that. I, I just felt it. I had a gut feeling it would land with this <laughs> one. Uh, thank you so much, my brother. You are brilliant. Optimize your gut health with Phytosutics range of pre, pro, and postbiotics. Use code EXPRESSO for 15% off at phytosutics.com. It is time. It's all we ever wanted. The launch of avocado season with the South African Avocado Growers Association. From delicious dishes to the brains behind an amazing lunch, Clem was there to witness it all. Let's have a look. With summer slowly making its exit, we welcome earlier sunsets, cooler weather, but most importantly, avocado season. We're at the Bailey Brasserie restaurant in Cape Town to find out what the 2024 avocado season has in store. I have found the most important person at today's celebration, Derek Duncan from the Avo Growers Association. Derek, what are your predictions for 2024's Avo harvest? We got more avocados in South Africa than we had last year, which is really good news for people that love avocados. So we think there'll be about 10 to 15% more volume because of new plantings that we've got in the country. Are there any new exciting developments in the production of local avos? What we're seeing in South Africa, because of the great demand for avocados worldwide, but also locally, is that we're having them planted in areas which weren't traditionally for avocados. And what this means is that we can extend the season. So the first avocados are harvested from the north in about January, February, and then we go all the way through to October, November, December, which was traditionally out of season, which now is supplied from areas like the Western Cape. We've managed to grab Chef Mitchell out of the kitchen before things get a little too hot. Chef Mitchell, you were tasked with the mission of creating not just one course, but an entire menu showcasing avocado. How did you do that with an ingredient that has such a unique texture and flavor? So I saw it as a challenge, so I love a challenge. I love to give a challenge to my team as well. So we try to keep it as French as we possibly could, so in the theme of our French brasserie. So from the top, we start off with a very classical French baguette. We paired that with a aged balsamic vinegar and also a very classical uh, Parmesan Catalan to serve that. And then we have our avocado in the form of an infused avocado oil as well as a little bit of smokiness coming through. So we have a smoky, that creamy. So we just played with the different flavor profiles of one single avo, one varietal. So we have your unripened, which is a little bit harder, a little bit firmer in texture. We then have your more ripened, which is a lot softer, which also brings a lot more sweeter flavor profiles out of the avocado itself. So we have sweet, we have acidic, we have tart, we have firm, we have super rich and creamy. And through that, we were able to put together a, a really, really good menu just to take people on a taste sensation. Jenny, I need to ask you, what is your favorite way to enjoy avo? Naked. 
take that ever, rip its skin off its body and sink your teeth into it with a splash of lemon and a little flutter of salt. I like it naked. What she meant to say was guacamole. <laughs> I like to have half an avocado, put salt and pepper on it, and scoop it out with a spoon. That's the best. I would say on a slice of brioche, slice of toast, you can't go wrong. I love a salad. I'm a sucker for salads. It's lots of avocado. It's, you can't go wrong with it. You can add them to any meal, and they really make a meal special. Having avocado makes it special, and the best thing about it is when you eat avocado, you can feel really good about it because of the nutritional value. One of the most important things is it's good in heart healthy fats, and one can also use those fats to make sure that you feel fuller. So you're less inclined to binge, so it can be included in, in weight loss diets, and also it's high in biotin, it's got fiber in, there's no cholesterol in avocados. Seeing just how many different ways that you can use avo, I think I saw it used in ways that I was like, I didn't know this was even possible, and the flavor that there was, that was just achieved, I loved it. Today was all about avo supremacy, and it was an amazing display of creativity and innovation. And if you want to know more about this iconic fruit, go and check out avocado.co.za, and if you want to find them on Instagram, that's I love avo SA. And don't forget to hashtag add an avo. Did you know? Yes. The avo actually predates the wheel. We've been cultivating avos for over 10,000 years. And maybe the wheel dates back a little bit earlier, but in terms of its official discovery, what? the avo is the OG, dude. Uh, that would be wonderful to drive on an avo <laughs> wheel type of thing. Would be great. But uh, honestly, I'm excited for avo season because I love avocados are amazing. And just like, just like that, an avo put out Salt, pepper. Ooh, bit Done. Of, nah, a bit of vinegar for me with lots you of like pepper. You like a little vinegar? Ooh, oh, man. Absolutely love it. But to all those that are proudly representing our Avo market in South Africa, one of the best in the world, thank you. We appreciate you. Mm -hmm. Are we in this thing? Hold. It's Hold. time to get Hold. into yeah. a little bit of activity my friend. And when we say that, we're talking about the fact that, listen, Tropical Island of Treasure is coming up. And as your host, I need to get ready, Diabo. So this is why we have called on an absolute expert, someone who's going to be helping us out with a high intensity interval training session. Her name is Mabulen Lovu, and I need to show you her beautiful body, the fittest lady I know. But also on the way, we talked to the queen. I told you Kanye Sachakini is sticking around and she's about to perform her heart out. Do not go anywhere. You're on your Feel Good Breakfast show. It's all coming up on the other side of this. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Eh, you 
you see, this is the thing. I'm stretching, ne? so that I can be ready for this fitness session that is coming. Because my friend, Tropical Island of Treasure is not too far away and we need to get ready the best way we know how, which is bringing in some experts, some people who are gonna help us out. And a queen who is not just gonna tell us about deep heat, but gonna be helping us do a high intensity interval training session. It is Mapule Ndlovu, AKA Queen Fitness. How are you, my lovely? I'm good, and how are you? Amazing, thank you. Excellent, thank you. Mapule, I'm scared. I'm scared of what you're gonna make us do over here. No, 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 don't be scared. It's okay. Like, don't be scared, mm -hmm. I got you. Okay. All you have to do is just to uh, follow what I'm gonna show you. Yes. And yeah, you'll we'll be, be good. Right. Okay, yeah. all right, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I'm also gonna take your word for this because I know that for me, many of us have always known that DP is something you use after your you know, session that you do or whether you're playing sport or whatever it may be. But then I'm being told that you can also use it before. How does this help us prepare? Oh, so it depends on which one that you're using. There's one that actually activates the muscles, which should heats up the muscles faster. Mm. Remember when you're warming up, you want to get the muscles ready for an activity. Yes. So if you're one of those people, there's a lot of people that don't like warming up, but if you want like a quick go in type of vibe, yes. then you can rub the, the deep heat on the muscle group that you're trying to go, you're gonna be training in your session. Mm. So yeah, to prepare the muscles. So even before sport, it's good to go? I yeah. love that. It's before, love because it. you have a different range. Mm. You have one for recovery, you have one to obviously massage your muscles yes. or the lactic acid to remove that. And you have products that will help you obviously activate the muscles before the activity. I love it. Yeah. Uh, you see, this is why we trust DP to my friend. And we're also trusting them all in the name of getting ready for Tropical Island of Treasure because they are not just the people who look after our muscles, but they also want to spoil you who could possibly heading, be heading off rather to Zanzibar because they are offering your share of 70,000 rand to the top contestants that are chosen to head over to the island and be a part of the competition. It is always so beautiful to see when the peeps that we love partnering with 100% are investing in you as well. But with that being said, let's get started with this high intensity interval training session that I'm very scared of, but I'm very excited for because at the same time, we 100% know we're covered by deep heat. So Mabule, can we do this? Okay, let's do this. Ish, we're okay. gonna start very simple. Mm. We'll do 40 seconds, usually high intensity is about 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. Yes. Or you can do it 30-30 depending on the fitness level, right? Yes. I have 20 seconds to demonstrate the exercise and then we have 40 seconds of, of us doing articulating it. the movement. Are you sure you don't want so, to do the full 60 seconds on your own? I swear, I'm here to, okay. to help everybody. <laughs> okay. Everybody at home, let's go. Let's, let's do it together. When I go into a squat position, I want you to pulse and then tap. Ne? Okay. What I mean is you pulse one, two, lift the heel, tap, tap. and go one, two, lift the heel, tap. Okay. Got it? Okay, got Let's it. Go. Got Four it. seconds. Mm -hmm. Pulse. One, two, tap. Uh-huh. One, two, tap. Ish. One, two, tap. Okay, Not there we bad, go. Now ne? I'm getting the rhythm. Not bad, ne? No, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, yeah, it, I, I can feel it though. I will, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you got this. Keep yes. going. Okay. <laughs> and, and, and you see with something like this, with me saying I can already feel it, would yeah. deep heat kind of, you know, help in terms of feeling it a little bit less? Uh, I don't know about less, but it will prepare the muscle. Okay, okay. Or the movement. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and, yeah. Almost there. Two, one, oh, and God, relax. Oh, 40 seconds. So, I have okay. 20 seconds to demonstrate the next move. Mm -hmm. We're going to do an inchworm into a push-up and back into a squat position. Okay. What I mean is you're going to sit, walk forward, a back row and then push up, walk back. Yes. And then you can do a nice squat. You see, Mabule, I've just started my journey to Tropical Island of Treasure. So what if I can't do a push-up? Okay, we're going to do the regression part of the push-up. Okay. It's not a lazy, uh, ladies push-up, it's a regression because even guys can do it. Ne? So, mm -hmm. what you do is you walk forward, you drop the knees, but you maintain a uh, straight position of your back okay. into a push-up. Are you okay. ready? Okay, ready. Okay, 40 seconds. Walk forward, so sit into a squat, walk forward. Okay. Drop the knees. Okay. Push. Let me try it. Ah, I saw that. I nice. tried, walk I tried. Walk back, walk back, walk back, and into a squat. Let's go. Forward. Okay. There. All right. Nice, there we go. Push. Ah. Lovely. I'm Make so sure strong. you engage the core. Okay. Make sure you engage the core. And do you do that by sucking it in? Suck it in. Okay. Sit, and then come up, mm -hmm. walk forward. Nice and controlled. Yes. And push and back up. Almost there, we have one more, ne? Yes. So if your hamstrings are not tight, I mean, obviously when they're warm, we're gonna go into a pike, 
as opposed to sitting. Okay. So you're going to go into this position. Oh, yeah. Straight legs, walk forward. Drop the knees, push up. Walk back. Oh, Excellent. I love it. How am I doing, Mabula? How am I doing? I know you are doing very well. Thank you. That's the pininging, ne? So let's go. <laughs> let's go into an <laughs> ab, um, ab exercise. Okay, I like you abs. Know, we must balance the equation, right? Yes. We did legs, we did arms. Now we're going to go into abs. So if you have a partner at home or you have, a, you have something that you can throw your toes underneath mm -hmm. to balance, or if you have good, strong core, you can do this with anyone or by yourself. Love it. So you go all the way down, come okay. up, and then tap. Woo! You do it with someone this for 40 seconds. There. Come Ooh. on. But you want to make sure you round your back as you come up. Activate the muscles. Yes. Suck the belly button in. Keep your lower back on the floor. So round the back nice. I'm Over so worried. There. How am I going to talk after this? You, it's a you workout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but you know, Yes. <laughs> Ooh. I, I like it. Yes. Oh, we're done. Okay. So. Oh, yes. And then we're going to start back from this exercise, right? Yes. It's the second round. And then moving to the top exercise. Yeah. Are you ready? Back swing. Okay. Okay. Now <laughs> we're, we're going to try and push for 50 seconds. 50? Yeah. And 10 seconds rest. Okay. Now we're making it harder. <laughs> okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Three. And of faster, course, faster, faster, faster. There we go. go, go, go. There we go. I'm sure you have learned the technique now. 100%. Mapule, you can talk while doing this. Me, I need the rest. I know. So, so tell us a little bit about what DP could offer us in terms of just using it and it 100% being part of our workout routines. For recovery, mm -hmm. or for also, I mean, if you have injuries, depending on what type of injury, if you're inflamed, yes. it can get you something to cool out the inflammation. Mm. And you know, then you have the other one that can obviously help you activate the muscles faster. Ooh! And you may have my favorite, which is the oil, because I like when I'm tight, two more, to use the Annika oil. Come on! You see now, okay. come Mabule, let's get up, because now we're wrapping things up. We're going to continue with this, right? <laughs> As you can tell, my fitness trainer, she wants me to be really ready for you know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Topic Island of Treasure. That's what we're going to be doing. But, of course, it is deep heat that is 100% getting us ready as a whole. And my friend, don't forget, they have your share of 70,000 rand that is possibly waiting for you, but you need to enter, and hopefully you'll be joining us in Zanzibar. Right about now, the family in Cape Town is doing the things that need to be done. Graham and you, Carl. Hi, my lovelies. We are feeling so much better about life because we yes. just didn't do that workout. Well and done. I know workouts do energize you when you're watching someone else do them. It's amazing how energized you get. It's just incredible. No, you are a warrior girl just getting that um, island body in shape. Uh, but right now, let's get you excited about exploring our own backyard. Forget about the island. Exactly. So we're celebrating the beauty and diversity of our country. Easter is the perfect time to explore with mm. family and friends. I mean, you got the leave for it. And thanks to Shot Left, traveling this Easter has never been easier or more affordable. Oh, I like that second part. And with their hashtag seat at the table 24 movement, you are invited to bring your dining experiences anywhere. I yes. stress anywhere across the country this Easter, whether you're craving a beachside picnic, that does sound pretty good, maybe a mountain hike nice. with a view. Ryle will even make you the oats and the cup of coffee up on the mountain. A cultural feast, short left, has got you covered. Mm. So uh, what better way to showcase the wonders of South Africa than with a where in a Mzansi game? I think we should do something like this. So, right, so I'll give you like some clues okay. about a destination and you must guess where it is. It's simple as that. Okay, right? and this is not fast. This is for you no, guys for you, to play us. at home. And hopefully we've made it easy enough for you to really nail this, but we want you to get excited about our backyard. So this particular destination, here it comes, clue number one. This destination is known for its pristine beaches and warm Indian Ocean waters. Take a gander at that. Okay, oh. we, we can't say too much. Don't. These don't. are just clues. Don't don't shout it out to your After TV. After the whole just yet. Easter Easter debacle from <laughs> earlier, just come on, keep your genius to yourself this morning. Oh, but we know those beaches. I know those beaches. You know. My toes know that sand, but my friend. Clue number two. Hush, hush. No, this is a tough one. <laughs> it's home to the iconic Moses Mabida Stadium, uh -huh. offering breathtaking views from its arch. You That's can also it. you can also jump off and swing 
off that arch, which is just crazy and insane. We love it. It's oh, let's that. give you another one. If you haven't, if you're still half asleep, let's give you a third clue. Visitors can take a thrilling ride on the Sky Car for panoramic views mm. of the city. And it's worth seeing it like that. It's just different. You've said too much already, I think. We have, we have. All right, I know. There we go. I know that you know. I know, but I know. you know that I know, I know because I know that you knew that we knew that we know that you were knowing that we knew. But it's fine because all you have to do is guess. So put on your thinking caps uh -huh. and send us your guesses on social media using the hashtag seat at the table 24. We can't wait to see who gets it right. Mm -hmm. And whether you are a thrill seeker, maybe you're a nature lover, nature boy, or a culture <laughs> enthusiast, there is an adventure waiting for you in literally every corner of our beautiful company. We prove it every day on the show. Our country is incredible, but you've got to visit shortleft.co.za to be inspired by some of the affordable deals and, of course, the chance to discover the Mzanzi magic for yourself this Easter. So we're going to take a short break after the short <laughs> left, but still ahead of you, we have an Easter stacking challenge, all right? an Easter egg stacking challenge, which is all part of our Easter La Vista <laughs> campaign that's happening soon. We've got a game for you. Who will win? You need to find that out soon enough. You are going down, my friend. And then, of course, Kanyisa Jack Bayadi is here to perform. I want to say just for us, um, but I think Sanel has earned the right for her own private performance, and you get to come along as well. Another brilliant performance on the way on the other side of this. It's my feel-good breakfast show. Easter la vista, baby. It's time to stack some eggs. So what better way to celebrate Easter than with some silliness, some fun and games using our favorite beacon, mm, Mallows. And did you know that game has them at the lowest price? Boom, only $69.99, an excellent deal. You won't want to miss because you want a big box and you're going to need a big box. And to showcase just how fun these Easter eggs can be, we're playing a game called... The Egg Stack Challenge, Ista La Vista edition. Okay, so Carl and I are going to take turns at stacking as many beacon mallows as we can in 30 seconds. But we can only use one hand. What? 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 Come on, one hand. Okay, and they're unwrapped. Can we, can we unwrap with both hands? Okay, so you can, um, you can stack with one hand, but you can unwrap with both hands. I think it would be actually more exciting if we unwrap... All with one hand, we can unwrap with our mouths. With our mouths. That's it. Okay, I like that. Oh, Easter la vista, indeed. This is going to be All great right. now. Okay. Well, now as you are so proactive this morning, and I can see you've got this, kid, I'm going to give you the chance to go first, just to be a gentleman this morning. All right. Are we not going to do this together? <laughs> 
60 seconds they're going to give us because we've upped the ante. I like that. That's more eggs to put in our belly. All right, should we do it together? Yes. Okay? Let's I do like it together. It. Let's throw down. Let's make it hardcore. And let's see if we can get all 36 eggs. <laughs> but like stacked, eh? <laughs> Woo! All right. Three, all right. two, one. Go for it. Let's go. I struggle to open the, the thing again. Get out, little egg. Get out. I see your technique, man. I see your technique. I see your technique. Get out of there. Thank you. Thank you, Luton. You can do it, Graham. You can do it. Down. Where are we on the clock? Where are we on the clock? Nice one, nice one. Go faster, go faster. 30 seconds. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, my word. Okay. Make double stack, make a double stack, Graham. Come here, double stack. Almost, almost ate it. Oh, almost used another hand. Are you it. doing a structure? Do you can do it. One more, Graham, one more. Hold. Oh. Nine, eight, six, no. <laughs> six, five, I needed to do four. four three, two, one. It's in my mouth, so I can eat it. I can eat it, it's in my mouth. Okay, I'm going to eat that one for later. Here we go. All right. Stacked. I think you got it. Damn it, man. Okay, well, let's do a, an official count. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's I'm like sorry. My, my snack got intimidated by your snack, and it was like, nah, not going to take it. Well, my five falls down. Count your eggs out loud there. One, uh -huh. two, three, four, four. five, <laughs> six. Yay. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Well Thank you, game. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, game. Um, the game that gives I, you more and, game. Yes. I love that. Uh, Easter la vista, baby. You are Thank the you. champion. You well so much, done. Man. And we get to eat them all now, which is great. So whether you win or lose, obviously you get a prize. The real prize is getting to enjoy the delicious beacon mallows that you've now unwrapped and have to eat, okay? But you can get them at the greatest price, the best price in the land. In fact, at game stores. And speaking of sweet deals, game is offering some incredible discounts on all your favorite Easter treats this season. I know a lot of people panicking at the moment because Easter is literally around the corner. If you're gonna have an Easter egg hunt, this is where it starts. Plus you stand a chance to win a 2000 Rand game stores shopping voucher. Simply reply to the competition post on our social media platforms and tell us this what's that one unbeatable easter deal at game stores that you'll be snatching up and saying easter la vista to high prices and don't forget to hashtag game easter la vista it's vital otherwise you're not in the running and the competition closes the 31st of march you still got quite a bit of time but that's at midnight um, and t's and c's can be found on expressoshow.com how many could you fit in your mouth, do you think, of those things? Oh, just, what do you mean? <laughs> well, what? Just wait. <laughs> Next time. Oh, well done. Thank Easter you. Easter love Easter, our reigning champion. That's right. You've got to get out of here. <laughs>it is a feel good morning indeed and as you can see i'm getting my hips ready why well we promised you kanye sachakini and that is who is about to blow us away everybody please make some noise for the queen with her song my boy <laughs> this is a song i wrote for my crush crazy right oh and upendulili
Performance hashtag bottom line. Yes. Uh, if you're ever looking for, uh, mm, I can also yes. also me. Uh, we'll talk about. Okay. Yeah, thank oh. you. Uh, Expresso family, let's talk about this. Okay. The fact that coming up, we're going to be getting into a recipe that you never knew you needed. It is a jam and custard donut. Mm, sounds delicious already. And then we're also going to be hearing what your advice is in the name of going beyond the friend zone. How can you get out of there, men? We're going to be hearing all about it right here on your Feel Good Breakfast Show. Do not go anywhere. We got a whole lot coming up right here. Oh, you can make my day.
Welcome back. It's been two delicious hours with you and the final hour is going to be even more delicious. Yes, I have, I've heard rumblings of a fit cook and custard, maybe a little bit of jam involved and a whole lot more Easter deliciousness and a few more performances thrown in. It's going to be a spectacular final hour of the show. But of course, we've got to start it officially with those news and sporting headlines. Let's do that, and we are just before 8 o'clock, but let's take a look anyway. Starting nationally, the National Prosecuting Authority says it will continue to oppose bail for all the accused in the Jocelyn Smith case. The case uh, against the fourth accused, Laurentia Lombard, was postponed in the Friedenberg Magistrates Court to May 13 yesterday. Lombard remains in custody after abandoning her bail application. The state says she's connected to the case through a confession. Six-year-old Jocelyn went missing from her home in Middleport's informal settlement at Saldana on the 19th of February and the four defendants, including Jocelyn's mother, face charges of kidnapping and human trafficking. Now, the former legal head of Steinhoff, Stefanus Grobler, has been granted 150,000 rand bail by the Pretoria Specialized Commercial Crimes Court. He handed himself over to the police a day after Steinhoff's former CEO, Marcus Uister, committed suicide at Amanis in the Western Cape. Grobler faces charges of fraud, racketeering and contravening the Financial Markets Act in relation to the Steinhoff saga that occurred between 2014 and 2017. Meanwhile, the Financial Sector Conduct Authority has said that Uister's death would not have an impact on its investigation into Steinhoff. On to international news. Malawi has declared a state of disaster due to a severe drought that's affecting most of the country. The announcement comes less than a month after neighboring Zambia did the same. Zimbabwe has also seen much of its crops destroyed. Malawi's president, Lazarus Chakweda, has requested more than $200 million in humanitarian aid. The United Nations World Food Programme has said that several nations in Southern Africa are on the brink of a hunger crisis because of the impact of the El Nino weather phenomenon. Now, the UN Security Council has called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza after the US did not veto the measure as it did previously. It also demanded the immediate release of all hostages. It's the first time the Security Council has called for a ceasefire since the war began in October. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said the U.S. had abandoned its previous position, which had linked a ceasefire to a hostage release. Israel's Minister of Defense said Israel would not halt the war in Gaza while hostages were still being held. And yet another feather in Cape Town's cap, the city's breeze street has been named Africa's finest, clinching 11 spot among the globe's trendiest avenues in Time Out's latest tally. Melbourne's high street reigns supreme, trailed by Hong Kong's chic Hollywood Road, from gourmet grub to bar hopping escapades, from boutique marvels to artistry and galleries. Bree Street, the mother city's gem, offers a smorgasbord of delights against Table Mountain's majestic backdrop. Its name, derived from the Dutch word Bria, meaning broad, speaks to the, its historical charm. Time Out showers Bree Street with accolades, singling out and praising its vibrant spirit. And why not step into the enchanting world of Africa's most delightful street and discover its irresistible charm firsthand next time you're in Cape Town. That is it for your news and Feel Good Breakfast Show. Let's take a final look at your sport. Here's G. Well, thankfully, last night's uh, rugby just as enthralling, in fact, in a thrilling encounter in Bloom, MWU, they emerged victorious over CUT with a final score of 53-46. And elsewhere, our five-time champions, Marty's, they ended UFS uh, Shimla's four-match unbeaten streak with a solid 38-29 win on their home turf. And then the Chester Williams Memorial Trophy remains with UCT's Ikes. That was following their dominant demolition, 91-9 victory over UWC at the UWC. WC Sports Stadium. Well done, gents. Then additionally, a bit of derby action in the clash between the Johannesburg neighbours. UJ secured their first win of the season and they would have loved it, defeating Vitz 49-26 at the UJ Stadium. Now a little further afield, IPL back into full swing and Virat Kohli, man of the moment, his brilliant half-century propelled the Royal Challengers Bangalore to a thrilling four-wicket victory over the Punjab Kings in their IPL encounter last night. So opting to bowl after winning the toss, RCB, they restricted Punjab to a competitive 176 for six in their 20. Kohli's masterful inning, 77 runs or 49 balls. He is such an asset in this format and that included 11 fours and two sixes that certainly laid the foundation 
for the successful chase. Dinesh Kartik's unbeaten 28 of 10. And then Mahipal Lombror's impactful 17 of 8 balls at just the right time, ensuring RCB reaching the target with 4 balls to spare. Then a footballing story that continues to evolve. Nottingham Forest now has officially appealed against a four-point deduction imposed on them for breaching Premier League financial rules. So in their statement, the club confirmed the appeal against the sanction imposed by the Commission for Breaching the Profit and Sustainability Rules of the Premier League. Nottingham Forest was penalised four points on the 18th of March. You can imagine making a big difference on the league table. That was for their exceeding the PSL threshold of £61 million by some £34 and a half million pounds are quite a discrepancy. We'll certainly watch that space. Then we are being asked to watch another space for a little bit longer. The long-awaited Simulator Golf League, co-founded by Tiger Woods and Rory McIlroy, what a pair, is now set to launch in January of 2025. That was following a delay caused by a roof collapse at the Florida-based facility. Now, organizers of the TGL confirmed the league's debut on the 7th of January officially, and it will feature six exciting teams of four PGA Tour players competing in what looks like a very fast-paced team golf format. Just what we need for the digital era. And if it's going to bring more people into the sporting fold, we love it. But that's where we leave our sport for this morning. I know some people taking the day off, that puts added onus on those going out there to do their job. So let's get you to work safely and take a look at the traffic. Just two reports for you in Pretoria and Joburg. Starting in Pretoria, Mayville, there has been a multi-vehicle accident at Paul Kruger Street. Emergency vehicles are on the scene at the moment. Please make use of an alternative route. If you're off past in the area, just keep it flowing and be safe. Now, Randburg, Joburg, there's also been a multi-vehicle accident on the N1 northbound before Bayes Nordia. The two right lanes are closed. Expect delays and allow for more travel time. That's what I have for you for now. Let's take a look at your weather. Just one weather morning, or should I say warning for you this morning and after yesterday's serious weather warnings, the SA Weather Service has only issued one alert for today, a yellow level two warning for severe thunderstorms resulting in localised flooding of susceptible roads, low-lying areas and bridges. Expected over the central parts of the Northern Cape, the northeastern parts of the Western Cape as well, uh, the major or majority of the country can expect cloudy and warm conditions. Now, a sunrise view to wrap up things on the weather front this morning. Alice from Peter Maritzburg sent us this. And you know what? This is a perfectly good sunrise view. The sun peering out, just saying hello to a brand new day. Thank you. All the way from Northdale. Uh, Alice Maharaj, we appreciate you. And of course, 063-408-8863 is our number. Save it to your phone and send your sunrise view. We'd love to feature you on your Feel Good Breakfast show. Let's take a last look at your temperatures. Buddy, yep. this is the chance. This is the one competition we are actually allowed to enter. Okay, is it? What's and, and with good reason, my friend. Okay, <laughs> here's the bottom line: you can seize a life altering, life-changing, community-changing win of an electrifying 105 million rand. 
Wow, that's not grouped wow. together. That's one estimated Powerball jackpot, and it's going down today. I'm glad you said electrifying. With money like that, you can make your own grid. Exactly. Oh, Micro man. Micro grids all over. I love so it. So you can buy your tickets today. You can walk in store, but walk in positively, like you're going to win. It's very, very important that you do that. Or you can click around on nationallottery.co.za. That's an option. You can get on your phone. Mobile app works nicely. Cell phone banking also on your phone. And then simply by dialing star 120 star. 7529 hash for you SSD also on your phone. Mm -hmm. And if you missed any of that, if we were a little bit too fast because we're just overexcited, it's okay. We'll put them all on our social media pages. You can go and check them out at your leisure. Just make sure you do it and then put yourself in line to make it rain. Lots of cash. You could literally shower yourself in your bedroom with money, but you've got to play now for life changing power pool. Millions, 105 yes. million rands available in the Powerball jackpot today. That's just huge. You see, with 105 million, I can't guarantee that it's going to get you out of the friend zone, but there are some it tips will. and tricks. I'm not sure it, it can. It will. I'm, I don't know, but ah. we've got Sadia and Kelly, who's going to be chatting to you, uh, just about the ins and outs <laughs> of, you know, being in the friend zone, getting out of the friend zone, what are you going to do about the friend zone? I'm not sure about the 105 mil, but I mean, <laughs> I'll take G's I'll put 105 million rand on the fact that 105 mil will get you out of the friend zone. No, <laughs> uh, jokes aside, we know that it can be a really painful experience to go through, so we're going to create as much of a safe place as we yeah. can. And add it to that safe place, deliciousness. We're going to whip up some donuts. We're making jelly donuts. There will be custard involved. I just know because we love our custard oh, every single morning. Oh, my word. Wow. I got chastised for calling it Fed Cook. It is a Fed Cook, man. That's what a donut is. We are here for that. Whether you call it pet cook, donuts, we're going to put something inside and it's going to be amazing. We'll see you now. It's my feel-good show. All right, welcome back. I know we've been uh, prone to a little silliness this morning. Okay, it's all of his fault. So let's just become <laughs> oh, serious now for on. a second. Just try. Um, no, it is a Tuesday. And as per usual, we discuss relationships. And we do try to take the edge off some pretty kind of intense moments because we all have gone through them. And this is our scenario today. All right. A month and a week ago, well, quite specific there, I got asked out by a girl at a party at my college and we started talking. However, after three weeks of talking, I asked if she wants to pursue a more platonic relationship. So basically, a friend zone, because I really wanted to get to know her as a person without the stress of rushing into a relationship. She thinks I only ever want to be friends with her when in fact I feel attracted to her. You did yourself a dirty here, bro. We've stopped <laughs> talking romantically, and now the more I get to know her, I am starting to like her and miss her when she's not around. What do I do 
now oh, interesting question to be asked and answered because joining us um, to chat a bit more about this really interesting matter um, at hand and give some professional advice our registered counselor kelly jacobs and sadia southgate who is an hpcsa registered counselor and psychology supervisor she's going to supervise us this morning <laughs> so let's give them a feel good welcome take them out of the friend zone bring them into the studio zone for today oh you guys are rubbing your hands at the prospect of this one <laughs> okay oh where do we start there's so much i'm so excited about this yeah. let's see can we start with intent that's a good yeah. way to say. intention because mm. you know when you meet somebody for some you don't exactly want to jump their bones immediately oh, however sure. you kind of thinking to yourself maybe later but <laughs> you just don't have that so let's talk about <laughs> intentions and communication yeah. and why that's so important from you know the outset i think that's a good way to start off. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. 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 Any one yes. of you can answer. Oh, okay. In fact, both. Okay, perfect. Well. <laughs> yeah. The more the media. Yes. I think, you know, oftentimes we say that we need to communicate, but very seldom do we actually define what communication is and what intention is, how we go about communicating, you know. Uh -huh. But what it comes down to, you know, is communication is transferring information from one place or one person to another. So it's being about being open and transparent. And often when I say open and transparent in communicating is that it doesn't mean that if I communicate that I'm an open, honest and transparent and effective communicator. So when that, you know, kind of goes into play, it speaks to I'm open and effective in my communication. So that also speaks to how I'm going to link my intention alongside and that it's a so great yes. yes and i think even you know with communication it fosters trust and i think from the get go in in this scenario there was no trust that that was built because of the lack of communication and intention in saying that i actually do like you but let's kind of just get to know each other on a platform of different you yes. know um environments because i would suggest professionally that before you start to date someone get to know them you know one on one get to know them in a social setting because how they are with your one-on-one -on -one is different to how they are in a family setting and in a social setting. Um, so you're kind of talking like the brain operates yeah. at our will when we when we yes. meet yeah. someone that we're attracted to, which often is not the case. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> I love the noble intentions here yeah, of not yeah. wanting to muddy the waters with yes. too much of that kind of intention there. Like, okay, we're going to just jump the gun. We're going to make this presumably physical yeah. before we're ready to do that. And then it's going to ruin the potential of a long-term relationship. Mm. But you're getting you're starting on that path with the intention of getting into a romantic relationship. So if you're not clear about that, or maybe you yourself, because this speaks to a level of uncertainty within myself Absolutely. rather than the, the undecided outcome. We don't know how it's going to work out, yeah. yet mm -hmm. I don't feel secure in going after a relationship right now, which is why I'm in this helicopter holding pattern. Yeah. What was your first warning sign there about the way that Anonymous, I wish we could say their name. <laughs> yep. Someone we know, no. you. No, you, no, you, no, 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 no. <laughs> No. Upstairs. <laughs> when you when you heard the story, anonymous yes. upstairs would love to know what their first mistake was. Where, where did this yeah. go go south for you? I think what's so clear and exactly to echo what um, Sadia had said is understanding your own intentions also requires a level of self awareness, mm. knowing where you're at romantically, and if your process is to get to know somebody first on a platonic level, that's fine and that's okay. But I think in honor of trust and building trust, we've got to communicate those intentions first and foremost, and really just to think about what it is that you need in terms of your pursuit of a romantic relationship and if you find that getting to know somebody on a friendship level that's okay but we've got to communicate that so you can build trust and vulnerability so to answer your question with regards to the red flag i think he needed to clarify for himself yeah. first and foremost what it was that he wanted because I mean, no, nothing is going to be kind of more ingratiating than you telling a person, "Listen, I'm not really interested in you, but I, let's just yeah. see if I can become interested in you if we spend <laughs> enough time together." Uh, yes. Mm. Not really giving me like <laughs> you know, kind of chemistry vibes. Yeah. yeah. Buddy, I can feel you want to say something really <laughs> inflammatory. I so do. I'm not gonna I'm let gonna, you. No, 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 don't no I was say. gonna say something like say I was gonna say <laughs> like it's not. You, it's me. Yeah. <laughs> you see, no, no, I promise you, he's just joking. It was a joke. It's not, it's him. It's not you guys. It's not you guys. Um, I want to bring Zanelli into this conversation, if I can, um, in our Joburg studios, just to add a little extra spice here, because this is something that we've all experienced 
one way or another. When those attentions aren't clear, so Nele, when if you had to be approached by someone under the sky, someone telling you, listen, um, I'm not interested in a physical relationship or the romance, I just want to see if we can build a relationship, a friendship, how would that make you feel as a potential suitor? How do you feel about this scenario? Do you know what, Graham, can I say, I think honesty really is the best policy. And as much as that's a cliche, I think it works out. Like, Anonymous, why did you lie? Look at what <laughs> we are in now, this mess of a situation. But now that we've dealt with that, I definitely think that I would appreciate that. I think that it's always so good, particularly when it comes to matters of the heart, to be able to 100% know what you're going into with both eyes wide open, yeah. having all the information that you need, rather than me being in the dark and thinking that, you know what, I, you know, it's either we are just friends or you possibly are interested in me when you're not. And I think that I would much rather appreciate that than you being a little bit of an actor over here, making things seem like they aren't. <laughs> No, completely. And I think bless his little cotton socks because the intentions were obviously right. Yes. So I'm talking to you upstairs now, Anonymous. Um, but I think often what we feel, and I think you hit the nail on the head, both of you, it's not so much about what he was anticipating from them, but more about where he was in his own state of readiness. Mm -hmm. The friend zone is a dangerous place to be. If you've got any personal perspective or questions to ask about something you're going through right now, I know we've given you a small example. We've got an expert panel here today to answer those questions. Let us know how you're feeling about being friend-zoned, some of the intricacies and maybe some tips to get us out of that friend zone. We'll see you now. You know, a good way to get out of the friend zone is to offer somebody donuts. I'm just giving you an idea over there. But fresh donuts, it's very, very important. So we've got a little recipe for you. It's got some jam in there, some custard, a couple of things for uh, a good scenario. It could be for friends or something more. Entirely up to you. So this morning, we're showing you how to whip up a fresh batch so you can treat everyone this Easter weekend with something fun and different. And this is why we are doing this together. So let's bring my friend, out of the, G, out of the in here. Friend zone, did yeah. you bring there was me? actually a lovely zone. conversation about it, the friend amazing, zone. Dude. It was amazing. great. I'm looking forward to more, but now, Let's get that dough. Oh, look at that. All right, okay. so this is that's actually yeast and a bit of sugar to feed the yeast so we can get that blooming. He's loving it. I can see they are loving They're having a, a word of a time there. Uh, I'm assuming you make making dough. All together, make, make some dough oh. for me, man. All right, okay. let's do it. So we got some, you can put the flour in over there and then atop that you do your bloomed yeast with the sugar in there as well as your melted butter and we even got an egg yolk there just to make sure that it's extra um, unctuous. And, and one thing I have remembered from all of these lessons yeah. i think jenny morris was um you know she's the queen of breads and, yep. and don't um don't Dope. put the salt with the yeast it'll kill it yes and it's sodium. amazing how often you'll do that you'll mix the salt straight in with your flour then put the yeast on no, top of the salt and absolutely destroy it okay so we've got and then you're gonna, gonna, gonna get a, a dough consistency we're just Beautiful. doing this to show you exactly how to do it so that you can grab the recipe, expressoshow.com, that's where we've put it, and you can give it a shot with your own twists, however. Is that egg? Yolk. Yolk? Yep. You must be yoking, I man. am not <laughs> yoking, This whole morning there. you've been yoking. I've been Bruce. yoking all yeah. the way through, my friend. That's the... <laughs> and then, that's it. Okay, that's I'm all she wrote. Through. Um, it's as simple as that, man. And then you've got to get stuck in, yeah? And you're going to do, you're going to whip it up. And the great thing is about the magic of TV is that already on your right hand side, I've prepared three Donuts to be fried, oh, really? which is great already, ba, 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 and that's ba, the type of texture ba, 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 you're looking ba, ba, for. As you can see, you can almost see that when they hit the heat, they're going to respond immediately and then puff up puff to something out. beautiful and gorgeous like that. And, and I like the, the elongated shape because you get more of the filling yes, exactly. more of the time. Yeah, it kind of spreads that that exactly. flavor journey out. So All right. I'm, I, Yo, you are okay. going to do this. I know, I know there, it's going to be tough. Is there a way that we test? Well, I'd, if you're going to put anything into hot oil, always drop it away from yourself. You just I think need that's a, the first a little bit of flour that we normally throw in. But I, I'm going to assume... Are you testing? Are you heated there? I think yep. we are. There's yes, a flame are. on. I think we're good. You can see we have, we have been burnt in good the luck. kitchen before. Good luck to so us. So we don't want to take any us. chances. And remember, you know, it looks like we heated there. If we're not heated, remember yours will need to be heated on your side just to make it happen. Look at you go there, brother. <laughs> You're putting it on a spoon. This is great. I'm just, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that might are you, be my Are you getting mistake. a response? Is the oil hot enough? No, I think we're going to ramp that puppy up. Let's just do that. Bit. Okay, while you're doing that, bum, bum, we are going to ramp bum, that bum, up. Bum, bum. Oh, it's on it max. will look it's on like max. this after.
There we go. And once it's puffed up and done that, then you can leave that and we can focus on filling. Oh, While we focus man. on filling, I'm giving you a beautiful treat because you need some clover Thank you, my vanilla friend. custard just to keep you going. And Come while we me. do that, we're going to fill our two prepared donuts. Okay, there now we what go. We have here. A little bit of buzz action. We've and, cut and them thank up you for that tip, hey. Always start from your side and then it's move important. away. Move away. I if like that. Okay, you're going to look go. after your clothing, but more importantly, your, <laughs> your skin. Your, and I know chefs have like, like natural asbestos hands, but not no, as home chefs. No, no, no. We, no. Are not, we are very much home chefs over here. But remember, okay. you can fill this with custard. You can fill it with strawberry jam. Ooh. You can change up the jam. You fill can go apricot. You can do a bunch of different things in the middle. I'm going to say go. it's Easter. I'm going to hide in. A little bit of surprises or Ooh. pro tip if you want an extra thing, take one of your little marshmallow eggs, yeah. put it into the center, put it under the air fryer, and then you get something different. Get out I'm just of saying. town. Why not? Get out of town. Or you could combine all three. Why not do that? <laughs> I'm just going to fill the donut. Mm. And what we want is we want. I'm thinking the, the creaminess of the clover custard with the crunchiness of that, that kind yes. of caramelized crunchy exterior That's what looking for. of the donut. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you could take these guys, savory, sweet, you could do some cheesy vibes, some chili popper vibes. It's oh, actually such that's a very beautiful, true. That's such a good idea. Place. Just have them let people go bespoke. You still think this is a fit cook, don't you? Just, I'm, I didn't say it. I didn't say fit cook. Did you hear me say fit cook once? Well, I was, maybe my eyes said fit cook. You know what I love about these little mini donuts? Mm. Okay, <laughs> is that you can make a whole lot. These fit could go on, yeah? Let them, people can just get fit. <laughs> they can just go and do their own That's thing great. and start combining their own. You imagine if you can make, you got a bit of cream, you got a bit of jam, a selection of jams, some clo well, not that there's any custard left. Wow, hey? I have taken custody <laughs> of the custard. <laughs> we have created Woo! a monster <laughs> this morning. It's not all a competition, dude. Um, okay, now I'm going to speed up. That looks okay. amazing, guys. This is done. I made this mm. for you, by the way. So here's the thing. Do not, <laughs> I mean, do not miss out on the opportunity to make something really special this Easter weekend. Give these jam and custard donuts a try. Get the full <laughs> recipe on expressoshow.com. Wonderful, and it's going to be great. Get cooking, get fed. <laughs> Elevate your custard game with the all-new vanilla-flavoured clover custard. So creamy and smooth, it makes all the other desserts a little jelly. You know what, Cape Town family? I think one of these days we need to do a Cape Town Join Us Bake Inception. You know what I mean? I come up there and it is not just because I want the treats that you make in the kitchen all the time. Like... That's not the reason. Okay, thank you very much. Something else that is a treat, though, is definitely what we are being served up in the name of music. Getting your Tuesday started off in the best way possible. Kanyisa Chakreni is in the building, honey. Still with us, making sure that we feel oh so good. And then we are going to be hearing all about what you can do when you are friend-zoned. Like Graham said, dangerous place. That is where the danger is. And we don't want you there, okay? We want you on the safe side with others. You know what I mean? So stick around for that, because it is all coming up right here on your Feel Good Breakfast show.
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast show. And we have been discussing a very important topic. If you've missed it, we've got some talented individuals on the couch. We've got a registered counsellor, Kelly Jacobs, uh -huh. who's here. And we've got Sadia Southgate, who is here. And that, Sadia has a very unique title. Mm -hmm. It's a mouthful. It's a <laughs> H P C S A O M G. WTF, registered <laughs> counsellor and psychology supervisor. Lol. I think that's what I got, hopefully. But uh, thank you so much for, for sticking around. Uh, after us making donuts, we actually have got a, a little bit of inspiration. Yeah, we, we've got a fat <laughs> conversation yes, to get into. Yes, we do. Fat. Okay, um, so we, we're talking about the friend zone. And, and yeah. some of you experience actually being firmly placed in the friend zone. You might not know what we're talking about. So our young Tyler gave us a perfect opportunity to show you, and, and you will feel it as well. Take a look at this. Take a listen. So, um, I can't do Zoe, so my only option is, um, Tyler, would you like to go on a date with me? Are you asking for real? Yeah. Don't do that. What you mean? Why not? Don't would you like... do that. I'm serious. Whenever you get some free time, would you like to go on a date with me? You can't do that. On a whole live thing. Why not? It's, it's true for there. Um, but we're friends, though. You're right. Yeah, we're friends. You're right. <laughs> All right, uh, next one. She was like one of those helicopter pilots where they think around. Did that guy obviously just blindsiding somebody like that? Maybe not cool yeah. though, because not you can't just make somebody sweat and make something hotter, make somebody lose their breath, and make something <laughs> just off the chair. Yeah. Anyway, so now shall we? Shall we unpack? Yeah. That's actually a good thing. You know, I do think that because of the, the age of social media, mm -hmm. that people would do that because they have that platform, yeah. mm. yeah. and there's almost like this. Guarantee, you know, working on live, when you ask somebody something, mm. there's this whole thing about, I need to say yes because we're live. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you yes. think that's what was employed in this particular moment over here? It definitely seems that way. Eh? Oh, yeah. It seems like he had very sneaky intentions and he tried to put that pressure on her, oh. and that wasn't fair. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Agenda, yeah. agenda, agenda, yeah. agenda. But you we could tell, that. Sadia, from her body language, before <laughs> the the bomb dropped, mm -hmm. okay, and she returned fire. Um, you yeah. could tell how comfortable she was from that moment. If he was fully engaged with her yeah. and not mm. using this ulterior motive mechanism that he had, he would have picked up that on that in a second. Yes. I think even in the beginning, like watching a body lamb, she was like leaning to the side. It would have been like, there's already vibe, yo, yeah. like a distance and that already again is a form of communication. You know, if she had leaned in, it would have been different, but he really put her in a very awkward mm. and uncomfortable cool, situation. Like... And I mean, she called him out on it, yeah. but he still applied pressure yeah. on her. And I think in today's day and age, that happens quite often, especially with social media. Yeah, he yeah. friends owned it himself there. He just pulled the, <laughs> he pulled the pit out and he was holding the grenade. He was like, oh, yeah. no, 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 take it. He was like, nah, bro, you keep it. Well, interesting. communication eh? important because the thing is, we actually asked our amazing family on Express. So just mm. weigh in and there were some comments that we can all unpack together. So let's go for the first one. Look. Uh, this is Tradine. Uh, this is my oh. advice for, and this is for obviously getting out of the friends. And my advice, just to be honest, put it exactly how you stated in your post. You don't know her past experiences, so maybe she was friend zoned on numerous occasions in the hopes of uh, growing into something oh, more than see. friends. And in the end, it was just a waste of her time. And as you know, time is a price element. Once you lost you never get it back so yeah maybe uh, she has the expectation of mindset that if you're interested then let's not waste time and see how things work out like i said unapologetically honest what's the worst that can happen mm -hmm. i think the worst is being rejected but hell i think we all have our fair share of rejection in this lifetime one more won't even raise an eyebrow Hmm. Wow, Trudine. Trudine's been through the most. Yeah. Yeah, that, she's eh? she's oh, never yeah. getting those waters for the rest of us. She's out there <laughs> leading the pack. I love you for sharing those thoughts. Yeah. Samantha uh, Kirchhoff saying she feels misled. You had to be straight in week one already. But I suppose you weren't sure of your own feelings. She's picking up what you're putting down as yet. Now, women know what they want. So they'll step back when they feel vulnerable. So maybe try a different approach. Don't be pushy. Mm -hmm. Just let things flow like water from here and see what happens. Uh, show you care. It's always in the small gestures 
and good luck. I love that we had a pessimist and an optimist <laughs> weighing yeah. in. Good luck, she says to all of us. Uh, the next one, Anna saying, be honest, tell how you feel. Donna saying, I wish people would normalize getting to know each other first. If I'm to venture into mm. a new relationship, I want him to be a best friend first. Mm. It should be a compliment when someone wants to get to know you for yeah. you. This should be normalized. It's much more solid foundation for a more lasting relationship. People seem to get offended when you say you want to get to know them better when actually it's a high form of respect. Oh, that is so true. You know why? Instant gratification in our current consumption of yes. content dopamine, and relationships. Dopamine, dopamine, yeah. dopamine, dopamine, just want to get the quick hit, quick fix, and like just, okay. so what's going on between us? Yeah. Is it going to happen? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it not? Okay, cool, I'm For out. Sure. Why are we like this? Man? <laughs> mm -hmm. You know what I do want to do is that I would love to know from experts. Yeah. <laughs> and this, these are my experts. These two, oh, we're going to throw them a curveball now. <laughs> oh, okay. Is there a foolproof way of actually migrating Mm -hmm. From this is my bestie, Ooh. but now I'd like to have I'd li I'm, I have feelings for this my bestie because so many people don't say anything because number one they don't want to ruin the friendship yeah it's yeah. a big risk number two they're thinking rejection I can't do this right now yeah. mm -hmm. so they're gonna keep locked away until they watch this person walk down the aisle with somebody else mm -hmm. and they didn't take their and shot you're stand outside their house with boards you Aww. see I not do don't think. this is obviously she's <laughs> passed anyway. I just need to ask this from experts. I know it's a yeah. tough question, it's but yeah. Yeah. are there ways to migrate from being having a great friend that you'd never want to lose, but knowing that you are attracted to this person in a different way now as you've grown? Yeah. yeah. I think um, dealing with rejection is something that we have to deal with, with every day mm -hmm. in our lives, and it's something that's completely normal. And we got to, in order to navigate from the friend zone into a the potential romantic relationship, it yeah. does take vulnerability and it's the risk yeah. that you're going to take. You mm -hmm. can cope with rejection, it doesn't feel great, nobody really wants to deal with that, but if it does come, you can cope with it and you can learn mm. how to deal with it. Yeah. But if it doesn't come and the person actually shows an interest in you too, it's a win. So yeah. it's worth the risk, yeah. personally, mm. in my opinion. I don't know yes, what you yes. Think. I think there's nothing that you can lose by asking, you know, because the answer is always going to say no, stay no if you go, if, if you you're don't. not going, yeah, that's if you don't, you know. Exactly. So yeah. as Kelly was saying, you know, rejection is a part of life across the spectrum of experiences. Yeah. Yeah. So we don't always get the job we want, you know, have social experiences, a social life. The outcome of that maybe isn't how we would like it to be. We don't get picked on the team that we want to yeah. be on you know so it's a part of life so when we kind of change our perspective about that and we kind of as you said earlier on you know we self-aware about the scenario so whichever way that it goes out I'm still okay regardless of that and because it's my friend I want the best for them Mm. You haven't lived until your heart's been smashed mm. on the floor. Sorry. I'm sorry, man. You've got to yes. deal with it. And sure. I'm telling you, it's going to hurt a lot less than seeing that person that you love with someone else. Mm. Yes. And then so you just love with keep that on mind. Yeah. Mm. So um, we've had some great comments come through. And it's not all doom and gloom. You can migrate. Yes. I like that. It's, I had it's, to you can't it, move. Yeah. You migrate. <laughs> okay, gradually out of the friend zone. <laughs> so let's hear from Romelia, who said friend zone, as in we now in a relationship. Yes, my husband and I were best friends. We saw each other through relationships, through heartache at one stage, even gave up our friendship because our partners couldn't deal with that friendship. Ten years later, he was ten years, buddy, Yo! was bold enough to say, let's try a relationship. We have been with each other. It, um, uh, others, it doesn't work, and today we are married. We'll be married eight years mm. this year. You are not alone, my friend. You are not alone. I love that. Wow, yeah. success stories, and you know, that's a great one to just wrap up this conversation yeah. about it, though. But I think what you have done and articulated beautifully, ladies, is that the communication and intention is vitally important. You communicate with yeah. your body, with your words, but yeah. keep on communicating. And don't hold communication back because you're afraid of the vulnerability. Yes. I think that if you go for it and you respect your friend enough, you will tell them how you feel and know that that yeah. friend who is a real friend will understand mm. and also talk to you if they perhaps don't want a relationship yes. further to what you have or if they are like, I'm feeling the same way, which is powerful. Mm. Are you trying to tell me something, dude? <laughs> have you I not learned anything from Tyler? But like, not in a live TV, I feel like you're putting me on the spot. I'm sorry. No, that's it. I'm calling it. I'm calling that's all on our relationship talk for today. Stay tuned because we're going to be back with more on your feel good breakfast show. In fact, it's feeling extra good this morning.
We're feeling so good indeed. How can we not feel extra good when we have the Queen Kanisa Chatoni in the house? So I want to quickly educate you, my beautiful Expresso family, in case you do not know. The word suka is of Kosa origin. You know what I mean? And it can either mean move out the way or go away. You must do none of the above. Yeah? Well, you must stay exactly where you are. But we're about to be entertained with a song that is called Suka. Everybody, please make some noise for Kanisa and her dancers. Shout out to Tyler ICU, Nandi Pido 8, Siga RSA. You guys ate. Hey, for Rosa, the Suka, the Suka, Suka, the Suka, the Suka, the Suka, the Suka. So now, I want to do a little exercise where I introduce you to my dancers. All right? This is Uleno. beautiful recipe that is on the way my friend we are learning how to craft your own gourmet ice cream coming into easter okay and then something just as delicious is that this team the hot one the amazing one the talented one they're not going anywhere no they're going to be giving us a third performance to close out the show so stick around for it because your feel good breakfast show is indeed all about feeling good by they you're here on s3 do not go anywhere
Welcome back to your Feel Good Breakfast Show. And we are getting on nice and hoppity hoppity. Welcome to Hopful Scoop of Fun, where creativity and imagination meets ice cream and cones. Chef Clem, who is our ambassador of hoppiness, is about to take two little helpers to ensure that Easter is filled with the amazing hopping toppings that you need to make sure it's creative and amazing with some gourmet ice cream and amazingness from mm -hmm. Chef Clem. How happy are you today, Chef? So happy, <laughs> but extremely happy because we have two amazing chefs in the kitchen with us, and Skylar's joining us in the kitchen for the first time today. Can we give the round of applause, Skylar? Skylar! <laughs> and Hamish is our resident junior chef. Can we hear for Hamish in the kitchen? Hamish! Yes. So yes. we're celebrating the fact that it's the change of season, right? Okay. Yes. Everybody knows ice cream tastes better in winter and in autumn. Fact. Can, you can't can, argue can with that? Sorry. We're doing this because I agree completely. 100%. Yes. And Woolies knows that. So Woolies has come up with an amazing deal. Buy any two yeah. for 180 Rand with your W Rewards card. Yep. Without your W Rewards card, 190 Rand. So you know why do. don't you have a rewards card? So let's talk about some of the, the options. We got the chocolate. And this is dairy, right? This is the real deal. This is proper. Okay. We've got the chocolate, mm -hmm. we've got the vanilla, we've mm -hmm. got the triple caramel, we've got the turn roof ice cream, we've got the chalk mint, we've also got the... Cookies and cream! Cookies and cream, yes. You know what I also, what, what I didn't see? The stracciatella. Do you know why it's not there? Because people can't say what, how, they can't pronounce it. What? People fluke when they ask for it in Woolworths. What, how do you spell it? Stracciatella. Oh, stracciatella. Yeah, oh, the, the, it sounds like people are talking in tongues when they ask for it yes. at Woolworths. But now you know how to, how to pronounce it. No, they also think that you're calling a tailor, man. Oh. Stracciatella? Tailor? Tell yeah, number nine, happens, please yeah. make your way down to... No, Stracciatella, also amazing, one of my favorite ones. That's the vanilla ice cream with the little chocolate flakes inside yes. there. Yes. Delicious. So what we got now, we got Skylar, we got Hamish. This is supposed to be for the adults, and we're like, no, no, guys. No. Let, 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 let's have the, let the kids have fun. Let the kids have fun. So, kids are here. you got your sugar cones in front of you, and I don't know, I'll ask Tiffany to bring in the box. Tiffany, when you, if you're here, I want to get the box for the cones, because we found out Last time? Yes. The back of the box. Oh, yes, you told me about this one. And this is very, very important. Yeah, they go, look, look, I panic, and they're like, ha, ha, ha. So, the back of the box actually has little cutouts, and this, that's what I like using, because it makes things so much easier, because you're not going to, you know, standing there with the cone dripping and things falling around. So, I love it, man, sir. Yes, oh, and then turn it around. There we go. And Thank you so is. much. There we go. So, that's Yay. what we're talking about. So you see the little cutouts, these actually poke out, and then you can pop your cone in there, yep. making it so much easier, you can make six at a time. You can have that. You can have that. I said you can have that. You can have that thing go now, thank <laughs> you. Stay thank there you, now. Lucien! Okay, so, okay. we're not gonna use the box today, we're gonna make it um, more fun. Yes. You and I will help and assist and hold the cones, but the first things first is we've got all our toppings, all our decorations, everything Easter related. Find it in Woolies, on the shelves. We're using it for toppings today. Call Wasty. Yo. Are you and Skylar ready? Okay, hey, Skylar, Michelle? I just want to find out. Skylar, are you ready? I'm ready. All right. What's your favorite out of all of these flavors? Ice cream? Do you like chocolate ice cream? Do you like vanilla? Do you like tin roof? Triple caramel? Chocolate ice cream. Chocolate ice cream. Yeah, you go. Chocolate ice cream right over there for you. You can pass it on to Carl. Hamish, your question. We can also have chocolate if you want, but I know you've been eyeing the chocolate mint. Yes, okay, chocolate mint. Chocolate mint. So, no rules. It's not a competition. We're just going to have fun with it. Okay, so, first things first, you got your cones. I've also given you guys baby cones. Are you going to scoop? Gonna sco of course you're going to scoop. Oh, okay. No, but I don't anything. want baby cones. I want this. You want this. the big one. Okay. But first? So, Hamish's strategy, you can tell he's been with us for a while. His strategy is to put some of the chuckles in the I'll bottom of the cones so first. Like so, like that. And Thank you, Hamish. You hold it like this. Look how they're like, well, they whispering over there. Go. And then you go all the way like flat down like that. And then you put, and then you drag it across. Go. And then you're making a little poke. Drag it across. Go. And then down. And then back again. Oh, this is great. And then put it into the cone. And you know what? Make a mess. Because the thing is, you know what learning is? As a kid, when you learn, you make a mess. And that's the thing. So that's the thing. Make a mess. But that was one of the best. That was almost a quenelle. Like, just Chef Clem knows what a quenelle is. Yes. That was great. It's a beautiful, round shape of food. And you know what I usually also, do? Also, to the parents out there, if you are doing this with your family, we don't have it on display, but it came to mind. Will he stain remover wipes? Go, go, go. Ask Graham Richards. He once came onto set, he got coffee on his white shirt, and the stain remover wipes actually got it out of it in, like, two minutes. So it's like, this activity, get the stain remover wipes. 
Hamish, it's, it's looking good. Do you want to try another flavor? Should we double it up? Can so try some well? toppings? Try some toppings. He's being reasonable. Where do I put this? How's Hamish doing? Put this right here. Okay, we're we happening over here. Ooh. Things are happening. Hmm. And then Skylar, let's just... Skylar, so you went with chocolate. Yes. Have you thought about the decorations you want to use? What do you want to use over here to make it extra special? What do you think, Skylar? Mm, I think... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's spilling. It's spilling. Yes. Perfect. Done. There we go. It looks we amazing. This so one? Skylar. I'll hold this for you. you can hold this. Just show this to the camera so long. That looks amazing. There Ooh. we go. Start oh. licking this before it's. Um... Start eating. Start eating. It's Skylar, because palace. it's your first time in the kitchen, ah. we're going to ask you some questions. What is your favorite food? My favorite food. Your favorite food in the yes. whole entire world? Ice lollies. Sorry? Ice lollies? Ice lollies. Ice lollies. Confirmed. Yes. When you grow up, what would you like to be? A postman. A postman? Oh, oh that's so cool! That is amazing! So, Hamish, we asked you this question last year, so maybe it changed. What's your favorite food in 2024? I also think it didn't change. It didn't change. So, what is it? Pizza. Pizza. And when you grow up, same thing? When I grow up, I might find new food, but... Ah. But? What are you going to become? Oh, come. I'm thinking fireman. Fireman, Ooh. a fireman and a postman. Love, absolutely, okay. Delivering the goods, or oh, both of these lovely go. Do you want to eat yours now? You don't have to decorate. I want you to eat that. I want you to enjoy it, because it's the hoppiest, hopful moment, and also, it's hoppy hop day to you, because it's your first time in the espresso kitchen. So you get a chance to eat that if you want to. I'm decorating mine, because I'm also going to have some. I've just decided, and we're just decorating at the moment. So, are you ready? Oh, woo! Make a mess! That's, that's it's important. Make a mess. Nice. That's it and right also, Carl, I see you have found your bunny again. I mm. have indeed. Congratulations. We found it yesterday for you. You're mm. welcome. Mm. There Enjoy. we go. Skylar, Hamish, both. Everyone's looking happy. Go to Woolies, get the deal. It's until the 31st of March. You can get any two dairy ice creams for 180 Rand with your W Rewards card. Without it, 190 Rand. Great. Go and get it. Do, do, you, do you not want to have fun like this? Yes, you should have fun. Ooh, I just dropped one of those in there. That's great. Well done, Skylar. Your first time was amazing. Keep on eating, Hamish. Always good to see you. Chef Clem, you're a legend. And now you can do this. So have a happy hop day every day. W Rewards members buy any two two-litre dairy ice creams for only 180 Rand, while all customers pay 190 Rand. So you know what to do. W Rewards. Okay, don't wait. This offer is valid until 31 March. T's and C's can be found on Woolworths. That's it. That's it. That was this one, not me. for Tropical Island of Treasure. Are you? Did you just swim here from South Africa? There's an easier way to find fame and your share of a smooth million rand fortune. Simply upload your audition to social media, explain why you're a match for our celebs. Add the hashtag Tropica and tag at my Tropica and we can see you in Zanzibar. Buy a Tropica now and enter to be on the island.
Do it. Do it now. Go out and grab the chance at a life-altering win with the electrifying 105 million rand in the estimated Powerball jackpot today. We should have started the show with that. I yeah. Think, okay? 105. Should have. So just start, start dreaming and then make your dreams come true by buying a ticket. Who knows? You can go in-store. You can go on nationallottery.co.za, the website, mobile app, cell phone banking, mm -hmm. or simply by dialing star, 120 star, 7529 hash. That is for you, SSD. Mm -hmm. And we're going to keep you uh, well informed. All of those details will be on the Expresso social media platforms. You can go to any of them and get those details. The most important part, just put yourself in the right Running to make it rain lots of cash this March and play now play today because this really is a life-changing community changing mm -hmm. as we were saying earlier Powerball jackpot now estimated at yes 105 million rand today that's huge it wow. is amazing in fact enough to celebrate with some music Zanelli Yes, indeed. We're celebrating with some music indeed. And this is why I say, my friend, when we are talking about feeling good, we do it only in the right way right here on S3. Everybody, as we're about to close out the show, please, can you put your hands together for the very last time? It is the Queen, Kanye Sachakeni, with Pekka Minangetwa. Come on! <laughs> to Tiki Twa. Shout out to Marcus MC for this beautiful chat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ay, 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 ay. We're all gonna sit down when we end. Yeah, 
Roses are red. Violets are blue. Violets are blue. Yeah, I As love you. Express, so we only have eyes for you. Oh. Whoa, oh. Riz Gay <laughs> on the hundred. Hey yo, hey yo, <laughs> a peep it, a peep it. <laughs> <laughs> My love, you are doing so incredibly well Thank and we so love much. you. This is why we had to have you on the show. Thank you so much. What can much. we expect from you? We can do short term now this weekend and what's coming up in the year 2024. Okay. So, oh, oh, sorry. Yes, so, you got you. Oh, yeah. 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 So, um, I'll be in Nelspreet this week with Black Queen mm -hmm. and then I'll be at uh, Sicha Gufe same weekend. Do you know? Right, Queen um, and then, yeah, please be on the lookout for more collaborations. Yes. I might pull up with a merch. I might pull up with something edible. Oh. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying? Okay. I might even make a cheeseburger. Oh, you so know? Listen, yeah, she's yeah. dropping many hints over here. I'm, I'm so intrigued now. I need <laughs> but, to know. Yeah, just keep it locked and it's amazing. Mm. I love it. Listen, we are so proud of you thank and you thank so you so much. much. And also, just so you know, I also sing. Okay, uh, just letting you know. All thank right. You. Everybody, we have got to go. We have been having so much fun. We will see you again tomorrow. But of course, I'm leaving it to Cape Town to officially say goodbye. Cheers, guys. <laughs> own your space, okay? You gotta own it because all bets are off this Easter, as you can see by the fun, the celebrations, the tootin' that's going on in the studio this morning. We are here for Easter. Lovely. I'm just waiting for Skylar to actually climb inside the cone and spend the rest <laughs> of the day there just in heaven. Oh, you guys are embracing Easter as one should, man. <laughs> Oh, tomorrow oh. we got a calorie hotline, which is going to be great. We so do, we do, yes, we do. do yeah. Don't aside, and also uh, more, more Easter stuff from Woolies, of course, naturally. Absolutely. Yeah? Yeah. So if you want to send through any suggestions, you have any questions for us, please let us know on our WhatsApp number, which is... 063-408-8863. Never one shy to blow his own horn on your feel-good breakfast show. Hopefully you've enjoyed today. We'll be back tomorrow for the culinary hotline. Blink! Tink, tink, tink! Good morning! <laughs> well oh. done, you legend. Elevate your custard game with the all-new vanilla-flavoured Clover Custard. So creamy and smooth, it makes all the other desserts a little jelly. Uh, never feel good production.